and away we go. I don't know what kind of made me think of this, but I realized we still don't have an albino Truex Springbok. We still, after all these years of the new scoring system, don't have a male diamond Gensbok. And I really like rare kudu, so we're going to kind of chase the antelope species here on Verhunga today, and we're going to see what happens. Hope you guys are having a good Monday. What's up, Call the Wild Ridge? Mel's in here, Barry's in here, Captain Rebel. Steven as well, good to catch a stream again. Been a while, has indeed. Glad to see you. What's going on, Pisa? So, uh, yeah, we're going to scoot down here to these two lakes. We're going to hopefully check for Gensbok. And then we'll probably bounce around. The thing about Gensbok drink time is I think it's 3 to 6 a.m. It is not ideal. But we'll uh, make the most of it. Hey, Active, thank you for the 27 months. Welcome back. Two years and three months. Uh, thank you for talking, uh, talking to me earlier. Nice to see you. I disconnected and couldn't rejoin. Yeah, man, I, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was on my end. A lot of people were having trouble staying connected to that server. Like, every two minutes, everybody would disconnect. I'm hoping that uh, the internet's going to cooperate for the stream today because while recording that video, hey Otter, I was uh, still logged into Twitch, like on my OBS, so I kept on seeing like reconnected to the chat like four times. It was brief little things, but apparently my internet still wants to be terrible, so we'll see how this goes. These aren't turkeys. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I can't, I don't know what one looks like. I should talk about that. I've got a couple of stories from that trip I'm going to tell later on in the stream. I don't want, uh, you know, to say I'm right here at the beginning before everybody gets the chance to join. But there's some pretty good, uh, pretty good stories that I'm definitely excited to tell. We did find a couple of sheds. Bottom Boy found a decent little shed. I found what I would guess is a shed for maybe like 105, 110 inch 8 point. Had he not busted his G3, which is a really quality public land deer. In the same area that we archery hunted them, we were, I think, one ridge over, maybe two. Where we deer hunted? Now that doesn't mean where he shed was where he was in the fall. But I feel a little better about where we chose. What's up, Dilly? How was the turkey hunting? Uh, yeah, a lot of walking. Not a lot of killing, but it is what it is. Anytime we go on those trips, really any out-of-state hunt I do, it's like if we get to shoot anything, it's just a massive bonus. I like to just go and hang out, and I've said this before, not so much in regards to like public land hunting, so this, this public land turkey hunt doesn't apply as much. But for instance, like when I go and hunt in West Virginia with Bottom Boy or when I went to Indiana to hunt with Aaron, I like to see how other people hunt. Because something that I've kind of realized over the years is just how different everybody's definition of hunting is. Like to some guys, it's walking 100 yards off the road, sit in the stand for an hour and go home. Actually, <laughs> I will tell this mini story. We were walking in yesterday morning. Um, we didn't get there super early. We were gassed from the day before. We walked, I think, seven or eight miles the day before. Not exactly uh, flat terrain. So we slept in a little later than we should have. Still got there plenty early enough. But it's not as if, you know, if we were in a spot that a lot of people were going to go to, we thought we would not be first. But we were first at the little parking lot. Or pull-off spot, really. And we're, I don't know, five, six hundred yards in. We're sitting there trying to see if we can get a bird to gobble. And all of a sudden, these four guys come hightailing up the path. And they're like, oh yeah, we're trying to get like five miles back in there. All right, so they go past us. We hear one gobble. We kind of work our way around towards it, but it's real far away. And uh, we continue along walking. We maybe make another three quarters of a mile of a mile. It's 7:30. Here they come walking back. They're leaving, and they go like, "You might as well come with us. There's nothing. Up, there's nothing up there." And I'm like, "It's 7:30. What are you doing? Like you walked in two miles or however far you actually went, and then you're walking back out already." <laughs> So anyway, my point being, I just like to, you know, experience the different types of hunting and all that, whether or not I get one. What's up, JTAC? Hey, Neon. K-Flow's in here as well. Don't mind me rambling. Had three hammering right across the holler from me this morning, and they shut up. 20 minutes later, they gobbled a little bit further. Gonna be out again Wednesday, dude. I can't wait to get out, like, on a consistent basis. Little two-day hunt to kind of get the juices flowing. It's nice, too, like... I think everybody has this experience. You gotta hear that first bird in the distance. Or even like with deer hunting, you gotta see that first deer moving through the trees to be like, that's, okay, now I know what my eyes need to see. Now I know what my ears are listening for. That first one can be huge. So even though we didn't kill anything, maybe it helps in the long run. Their five miles is our one mile. I, I promise you, dude, they didn't go anywhere near five miles. Not even close. <laughs> but the fact that they just went yeeting past us like that, <laughs> it was just ridiculous. That almost looked dark brown, I doubt it is. 
Who wants to kill one the first day anyways? That's no fun. I forgot you guys, I didn't even think of that. You guys, the season started today. Nice of you to just stand there. Miss my opening December, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. 12. <laughs> we should, we should get somebody to say that. Finally made it through a stream, took a break from Call of the Wild, but the... The indeed. Welcome on in, man. Glad you can make it. What's going on, Megan? How's the hunt treating you? We're just getting going. We smoked, uh, I think a little silver Gensbuck. Got some lions around here. I'm hoping we can kill a decent number of Gensbuck here. We'll probably do like two sets of... I don't want to call it Gensbuck drink time because we're going to try to hunt in the daylight. Say we get to 6.30, reset back to 5, do it one more time. Then maybe we'll try going after Springbuck a bit. Because we won't have to reset the time necessarily. Second half of the stream, we might, we might go after Kudu. If the internet cooperates, I'd like to maybe spend like an hour at the end of the stream trying to catch Sidewinder. I don't think it's going to happen. But we might do a little bit of uh, angling as well. Only if the internet's not giving us problems. Making me want to hug Gensbuck? I don't know what got into me. Maybe it was just the fact that I was away for a couple of days and, you know, hadn't messed with the game obviously that entire time. But I just kind of like, I was thinking of the different maps we can maybe stream today. And I just sort of, you know, looking at this page right here. All right, New England, Moose, Bobcat, Mississippi, we got our rare gator. I looked at Verhunga and the first thing that popped in my mind was like Diamond Mail Gensbuck. So here we are. Oh, nice, Mel. Pizza wants to vlog the wedding. A vlog of crashing the wedding. What's up, Sea Kayak? Uh, what do you think the next great one might be? If they're sticking with base game animals, I have a hard time seeing it being anything but Roosevelt Elk or maybe um, Wild Boar. I guess Blacktail, but I d for whatever reason, I just find that a little bit less likely. If they want to stick with the base game species, those feel like the most likely ones. It is so weird to use not the 300 on these things. That actually worked pretty good. What's up, Rusty? They were acting weird this morning for me. Didn't hear the first gobble till after the sun came up and it was far out. Sometimes that happens. Rarely for me. Like on now, you guys openers on Monday, so maybe this doesn't apply. But rarely for me does the opener not have gobbles everywhere. Because typically, what happens? Somebody strikes up a bird somewhere. You know, the next property over or whatever, and, you know, gobblers on the property I'm hunting are going to hear that, and they respond, and it just, they get fired up all over the place. During the week, I don't find that as much, so maybe that's a little bit of what you have going on there. During the week, is more like that. It, it's got to be a little bit lighter before they start to gobble, but on weekends, I swear, 5 o'clock, there's a couple that are starting to hammer. Not that early, but close. Let's see. I really spend a lot more time looking up these days. Like, we've been killing rare ducks a lot. And it just... I guess it inspires me to pay attention. The Call of the Wild Instagram was very interesting. what I miss? I'm unaware of whatever happened. What about Great One Red Fox? I think the concept could actually be pretty neat. I'm not sure how they would necessarily go about it, but... You imagine all the different, like, furs and stuff they could do. Maybe not the perfect species to do scarring and stuff, but you could maybe do some scars from fights. <laughs> My life story. <laughs> Same, man. Don't worry. Got a Tom and two white hens I can hear calling out every morning. Two white hens? Just out of curiosity, are they, um, like, potentially ex escaped farm birds, or are they whatever. Smoke phase, albino, leucistic. They posted Jaxie hunting an elephant in a sim? That is interesting. Are you using the drilling rifle? I'm not. I needed a... I, I wish I was. I guess we could grab it. But I just needed a gun that I had a cutout of that would fit into that small space on the uh, thumbnail. Well, kind of thought this was a better spot. Uh, just wanted to tell you I got my first rare on Ticket Moon Plains. It was a one-star albino lion. Hey, I don't have a rare lion yet. That's awesome, man. Good thing about rare... I guess they're the only ones. 
But the good thing about rare predators, they all look exactly the same in the lodge, so it's about just as good as getting a five star one. Use the drilling or I am suing for false advertising. Alright, now I'm not doing it. Debating whether I should bring the camo with me tomorrow and book it to the woods right after classes. I only have about an hour and a half left of shooting. Yeah, you guys are the same as us, right? You gotta be out of the woods by one. I mean, like, I don't know what else you have to do during the day. It's really easy for me to be like, yeah, go try it. Because I don't have to <laughs> book it out into the woods and sweat trying to go find a turkey. Early in the season, I would definitely be more likely to do something like that. It's tougher that late in the morning for sure. Forgot how to look at your gun on Call of the Wild. I haven't played for so long. Not to look at your gun? What you mean? Literally nothing, just pass your grizzly hunting? I mean, if that was going to be your plan, I might personally prefer the turkey hunt. How early do you set the time on Rohungo when you start hunting? For this, because we're going after Gensbuck right now. I'll show you their exact drink time just so I don't get it wrong. I believe it's 3 to 6. Yeah. So, I don't feel like hunting in the dark. We're basically starting at like 5, 10. It really limits how long we have, but it is what it is. Really tempted to just load the car up this evening and go tomorrow? By go tomorrow, do you mean skip classes tomorrow or do you mean after classes? I had... This is a couple years ago. Well, duh. This was a couple years ago when I was in college. More than a couple. Anyway, I had finals my freshman year. And I believe I had a final. It was like 9 a.m. on the first day of spring turkey. It was a final I wasn't particularly worried about, but obviously I had to go. So I got up, I went turkey hunting. I called in the two tiniest jakes I've ever seen in my life. They had beards, visible only barely, but I swear, like, I've seen chickens bigger than these things. They maybe were 10 pounds. So obviously I didn't shoot one of them because I didn't feel like dealing with that. Especially one that small. Right before finals. And that was... Boy, did that look... I guess the sun was it and I thought that was a rare. Anyway, that was the only uh, birds I called in all season. Skip school, school sucks. That's what they tell me. My laptop has an Intel i7 and like 16 gigs of RAM, runs Call of the Wild just fine, but will always crash without fail after like 10 minutes max. How normal is that? That reminds me of, and it was a RAM issue, but it was with Classic, and I can't imagine Call of the Wild has something like that. 16 gigs of RAM is plenty. What would cause that? It's almost like a, yeah, like a VRAM issue. What I would do if I were you is maybe send in a support ticket. I think it's support.thehunter.com or something like that. Um, you can maybe ask around in the official Discord. I'm unfortunately not smart enough to be able to diagnose that. But there was an issue in Classic eh, six, eight years ago where the game would crash after about a half hour for most people. And it turned out to be like a, an issue where the uh, VRAM was limited. I should have just shot like a bunch of them. Finals, the days I don't miss about school. There was something like, I guess just really satisfying. If it wasn't a final you were concerned about, you go in, you know, especially when they're early. Eight, nine o'clock, get it done. Back home at say 10.30 and you got plenty of time to do stuff. Well, maybe like 11.30. I did like that aspect of it. My calc final in particular in college, where I was at risk of failing the class if I didn't basically ace the final. That was one of the worst like three days of my life. The lead up to that, the amount of studying, the amount of just nothing but staring at calc equations. <laughs> Didn't enjoy that. Oh, the Sunday stream's still on there. There you go. I thought that was how you do it. I don't know. What's up, Tristan? So glad I don't have to take calc. Yeah, you know. It's just... Wasn't something my brain easily grasped. I was bird hunting, sitting in a blind, and level 5 Gensbuck randomly walked by and ended up trolling? They troll like 9 times out of 10 isn't a good enough way to explain it. 95 times out of 100, probably. It's so insanely rare that a male Gensbuck makes diamond. Now, female Gensbuck make diamond all the time. That's where this gets really tough. 
but they also look so cool. Like the big arching horns on the male diamond Gensbach. I have killed a couple, maybe three or four back in the old, old days of the old scoring system. I just can't bring myself to, like, I guess if you would say port over trophies from the old system. When we made the new lodge, mid-February 2020 is when they released Scoring System 2.0 with uh, Water Buffalo True Rex. The whole point was, we're going to start over, we're only going to put things in this lodge that were killed on the new scoring system. I like that idea, but then we still have things like this male diamond against buck that we can't get on the new system. Kills me that Rahunga is the only map that doesn't have a great one. Is that true? I never thought of that. Yukon has moose. Leighton has like three. New England has three. SRP has bear. Whitetail. Whitetail. Red deer. Red deer. Red deer. Whitetail. Moose. Fallow. Fallow. Huh. What? Okay. That suddenly makes things really interesting. Because somebody asked me earlier what the next great one could be or should be or whatever. And what did I even say? Roosevelt, Elk, and um, Wild Boar if they stick with base game? I really want them to go Mule Deer if they don't do base game species. But there's is there anything on this map where a great one would suck? Maybe Springbuck? Like, great one Kudu. What is the answer? It's, it's greater Kudu. It's really, really obvious. You just make a great one lesser kudu, a greater kudu, and you call it good. Uh, Gensbuck could be amazing. Obviously, Cape Buffalo, Lion, um, Jackal might kind of suck. I wouldn't want a great one Jackal, or Rabbit, or, um, Widgeon, but base game for Hunga species, base DLC for Hunga species, I'd be all for that. Lesser, lesser kudu? You're a lesser kudu. Greater, greater kudu. <laughs> this is going well. Uh, does it take a long time on Black Bears to start getting diamonds? I've been shooting all weekend, only got three mythical. If I remember right, and again, like, grinding for Black Bears now is really different. Most people, and I, I think we probably already talked about this, and I think you said you are, like, just focusing on those uh, northwest most lakes. Maybe it's different now, but I had over 400 kills before I killed a diamond. Like, when I first started all the way back, what, in 2022 when Revan Tuli Coast came out? Is that right? That feels like a long time ago. Kind of because it is. All right, we're going to jump over here. It's late, but we'll try here. I hate just constantly spamming reset time, so we'll try to make the most of it. Favorite diamond over Hunga that we have? I killed a diamond Melanista Kudu way, way back. This is way before Trophy Lodges. Um, now the thing about it was, a lot of people have, who played Verhunga when it came out, Diamond Melanista Kudu. The reason is, they were bugged in two senses. Melanista Kudu were all over the place, and Diamond Kudu were making it as like small level fours. Uh, they fixed that, and to the best of my knowledge, they did like a, what would you say, community wide pop reset? Because I don't remember people killing them after that. But it was within like two days of that fix, I found a level 5 Melanista Kudu on some random multiplayer server. Killed it. I think it was my first super rare technically. Uh, and what it probably was, was an initial spawn from the pop reset that they used to fix all the Melas over spawning and stuff. I just can't say that for fully certain. But the fact that it was even a level 5, like level 5 Diamond Kudu back then not many people had them, it was all fours. How do I pronounce that? E2, is that close? Thank you for subscribing. Shot my first dime was a big horn. Ooh, 171 is big, man. A big horn, you might say. What's up, Jay Ben? Memory's just fine. Got over 150 free gigs on memory. The video memory thing I was talking about is like a RAM thing, but I don't know if you were asking me that. I kind of. Got distracted. Another question. Shot a gold orange fur bighorn. Can't find orange as a fur? I'm also not aware of orange as a bighorn fur. You would think I'd at least know it 
as rare. Do you have a screenshot of it? I'd like to see what it looks like, because I wonder if I'd recognize it. If they do a great one, Greater Kudu, its horn should be based on Mr. Wow's horns. I am going to look that up. Mr. Wow. Whoa. That would actually be really cool. It would be a pretty significant, like, model change and stuff, I guess. And I do wonder, like, if they were to add a greater kudu as the, the great one for lesser kudu, would they actually end up with complaints like, why don't you just add greater kudu into the game now? They probably would, and maybe they'd want to avoid that, but I don't know, man. Everybody's wanted greater kudu from the moment this map came out. Shot a bronze fur bighorn too. Bronze fur bighorn are common, I know that. How often do you stream? Uh, typically three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, got the schedule there in chat. Lately I have been streaming, well, sort of lately. I've been streaming more like additional angler streams and stuff like that. However, uh, we are going to Georgia this weekend, so I'm prepping content. I won't be doing any additional streams this week because I'm going to be quite busy. Hopefully when I get back from that, I'll have time again to do those extra streams because I've really, I've really enjoyed just getting to hang out with you guys and go fishing for a couple hours. It's been really cool, like n new for me at least, way to stream. Because whether I'm streaming Classic on Wednesdays or Call of the Wild, obviously, Wade Hunter, things are fairly fast paced. It can be really slow in the angler, but it's just a fun conversational stream. We'd like to see an IRL fishing vid. Um, so here's what I'll say. I am wanting to do something like that. I've sort of got some plans to try it. It depends on if what I want to do is going to work. I, uh, I guess I'll tell you the whole little setup thing I have. So I've got like an inflatable pontoon, like just a one man boat thing. And I used it when we were down there in Kentucky, got it out on the water. I can't tell if the amount of pressure I got in it just wasn't good enough or if the pontoons have a slow leak. Cause if they do, obviously that's going to be a problem. If it was a pressure thing, which I'm going to hopefully test this week, then I can get better pressure in it. And I want to take it out, at least for like some bass fishing and stuff. Maybe some top water with a fly rod. Like, I think it could be quite fun. Work and lurk. Appreciate you, Hatcha. Is it normal that I have... I guess I'll make it 440. Normal that I have three... 3,583 kills in the Black Bear Grind and yet no great one? It took me like 8,000, so I wouldn't say it's abnormal. I would say most people get it by then, but seems you and I both have bad luck. Just the way that it goes. What's going on, Johnny? Alright, let's go to places we haven't been. I don't think Gensbuck go up here. They probably drink down here, I don't know. No time like the present to find out. Only rare fur type I seem to get for Lion's Dark Brown. I've hunted over 12,000 hoping for a blonde or albino. When I've done, like, single-player grinds, and it's never been anything super serious, but I've also just found Dark Browns. I've killed three or four, maybe even more than that, maybe five or six blonde lions and three albinos in multiplayer. Never once in single-player, either of those first. Or a little float trip down the Juniata or Allegheny. If I do that, it's definitely going to have to be after some testing on non-moving water, only because I want to make darn sure that thing's going to stay inflated for the entirety of the trip. We've done some things like that before. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do, like spend a day or two just, you know, basically floating, fishing. When it gets close to dark, find a campsite, pull off, sleep in a tent, jump back in the water. It's really fun, but I definitely don't want to have... You know, by the end of it, I can't stay afloat and I gotta keep pumping the pontoons up. I'm not even going where I'm supposed to be going. What am I doing? You had an albino female doing missions, actually? It was down here, huh? I was thinking that was in multiplayer, but you're right. That was missions. That wasn't even from a grind, either. It must have been like a random respawn. You got two great one blackburn under 1,000 kills, not even 1,100. Uh, before they started drinking at night. That's crazy, though, because at that point, to the best of my knowledge, nobody was doing, like, much of any advanced 
grinding it was just gonna kill everything is that what you were doing hey color good man found another light brown croc on your map i'm still kind of jealous they just look too cool don't you love it when you miss vitals on a still standing diamond whitetail it happens it, it just does hopefully the next one you can get some redemption Nothing too special yet, Bass God. I think we had a couple of decent level 4 Gensbuck. We're trying to check a couple of other spots. Once it gets past Gensbuck drink time, so we just rest it back. It's almost 5 a.m. When we get to 6.30, we're going to run around and chase Springbuck for a little bit. We'll do at least one run up the uh, east, that was almost bad, side of the map uh, for Kudu. And then, assuming we haven't had any issues and... Knock on fictional wood, because if I actually knock Shadow, we'll lose her mind. We'll do some uh, angling as well. I didn't put that in the thumbnail because I wasn't sure if it was going to happen. Hope so, Johnny. It'd be nice to get something good. Hey, government. Miro's in here as well. When the angler stream. Uh, potentially at the end of this one if things go to plan. I just know our internet has been less than good, and if we're constantly disconnecting, I'd rather not. That, I guess it's just gray. Yeah, because I, or maybe even brown. Those two look super light. I couldn't even see them. I guess Albina would really stand out, though. Best map to do a moose grind on. That's a good question. I think most people probably did it on Medved. I've seen successful Rev and Tuli grinds. I mean, some people did it on Leighton. I'd say Leighton and uh, New England have the least amount of grinds done. A few people who have, like, perfected it do really well on Yukon. But overall, like, the locations they drink at, the amount of moose, it seems people do the best on Medved. Love having a staring contest with my dogs, then knocking while they're looking and they still go off? Kyla does that too. Like, specifically, that thing where Shadow's watching to see her make a noise and it's still... Immediately, she just goes into crazy mode. Did I miss any gemmies? No big gemmies, anyway. Had the most beautiful guaranteed diamond axis deer drinking in front of me, and my dumb butt decided to go for a hard shot. I do this too. <laughs> I have messed up. You, I've been mostly lucky. A lot of times when I do that, it's actually a troll. I typically don't do it on like whoa that's a big one type of thing if it's like say small rack diamond i'll try to go for a hard shot and i've missed plenty of them should do a black bear grind on laden i'm uh, i'm good actually no thanks <laughs> butthole lint 12 out of 12 name what's going on <laughs> cracked a level 9 links today for like 30 minutes somehow ended up shooting it with the wrong gun by mistake that sucks hopefully you can find another one it's it's one of those things though like the last thing you're thinking of, especially when you track something for a long time, like you expect to hit the right button and equip the right gun, the last thing you think of is like, ooh, better make sure I didn't grab the wrong gun, because of course you grab the right gun in your mind. Thanks for the tips for the angler, finally made it to level 15, I can finally start catching the biggest, 11 pound test is a great one to have. You can start to move so much faster through levels. Even just like with a little upgrade like that up to 11 pound test. Hopefully that helps you out. What's up, Reed? I'm so scared of like, if we actually go to the angler later. There's Ducky sitting down there. If we actually go to the angler later, we're going to end up trying to catch Sidewinder. I just know it. Because I really want to catch him and he's currently spawning again. It could be such a disaster. Wow, that was high. I have the rope. Okay. I don't have the scope I want. Usually the Argus is the one I use for the 22. Love your way the 100 videos? Well, thank you. Planning on heading to uh, Aurora Shores again this week. This week? I have everything written down. Prepping content, I get confused about what's happening when. I never know what I'm doing, like, even two days later, unless I'm prepping content. But at least my current plan is Way the Hunter on the 21st. So, what, like Saturday? Sunday? Sunday. Whoa, okay. Messed up a ooh, level 8 leucistic rude. Didn't even know he was leucistic. There's a couple, man. You can't tell. Like, you really can't unless you're really up close to them or if they're in great lighting. 
I always wonder if I've missed out on any, because other I've killed a female that was an in initial spawn, I think on maybe like release day or something. Other than that, I don't have any rare kangaroos. And I wonder like, have I missed out on some of the leucistics that just didn't happen to be the furthest easy to see? Hey Grater. My analytics told me told me play Way the Hunter better? What you mean? I thought I couldn't tell. Like I could see some of this whitish marking on his chest. Was hoping for a rare. <laughs> the odds of that would have been really low. Have you ever tried or thought about going fox hunting in real life? Um, I haven't. It's not like... At least uh, locally around here. It's not something that a lot of people do like specifically hunting for fox. I'm sure it's done some, but usually if anything I think it's more trapping. Got an albino female roo not long ago. They look nice too. The albino roos have like a, a unique look to them. All my way to hunter vids do bad, and I think it's because my current playstyle isn't good. The thing about, at least to me, way to hunters maybe, like I guess it allows you to play with more playstyles than most games, because you can like you can super speed like rest all the time, yeet through age cycles pretty quickly, or you can quite slowly, you know, basically just never rest, hunt through the night. You can do it in a bunch of different ways, and of course there's multiplayer too. Mr. Biffin, thank you for becoming a Shusty. Appreciate that. I like the logo, by the way. It stands out really nice. Where... Was it that one? I want to kill the males for the respawns. You know what? We're This is going to be a recipe for... A 22 miss. And hopefully a 308 hit. He was kind of moving when we shot. I think we got him. Fox hunting is not fun. Do you actually not enjoy it? Because it seems like you do it a lot. Have a level 7 Lucistic Crew and a level 8 Albino Red Deer. Oh, the Red Deer's cool, man. The only big rare Red Deer I've ever had are all Pieball. Hannah, thank you for your... Wait a minute. What? Oh, I don't know why, but I was reading that as a super chat because there was a message. I was very confused. Thank you for the 28 months. How did you get that to make the alert? It never shows, like, uh, renewing. Maybe they fixed it. Anyway, <laughs> appreciate you. Thanks for all the amazing videos. My nine-month-old son falls asleep to your voice every night. That's awesome. Glad to assist in that. And uh, don't mind me being very confused about the alert. Pasture Grizzly. <laughs> better than Fox hunting? Pasture Grizzlies have a better name, I'll give you that. I think Foxes might look a little cooler. I enjoy the way the hunter content, though, something other than Call of the Wild is nice every now and then. I really like... The thing that I enjoy about Way the Hunter so much is the, uh... Like when we found the, um... I would say Showstopper was the best example of it. But obviously the Melanistic Moose and the Melanistic Falladier both making 5 star is pretty cool. I like the aspect of going back, like, day after day, checking in, like, okay. Looking pretty promising. What sucks is when you have the albino red deer. Because, like, by the time he was an adult, I'm like, oh. He's not getting anywhere. But it's fun to, like, it seems like there's more of a collective, like, experience of everybody waiting to see what it becomes, including me. Pretty sure in PA you have to take a, or get a fur taker's license to hunt fox. I think you are correct. Because we killed two of them. He's floating pretty fast, so I guess we're better off waiting. Falling asleep to Flantro voice? That's scary. What's... What's so scary about that, huh? You got nightmares? <laughs> what's up, Beverly? Every time I do that, shooting a first shot to make them turn around, they just start fleeing? Are you using the 22? That's the first question. Got a piebald 250, let's just call it 253 whitetail. Pretty nice, man. I, was it a troll? Hopefully it was just a big four. I feel like you don't get fours in the 250s, though. Do you go bass fishing? Not as much as I'd like to, uh, but I'm hoping to get out a little bit more this year. I say that uh, right about the time, like, ideal bass fishing time. I think we're going to be busy again, so it'll be interesting. Does it only work with a 22? It only works to shoot near them with the 22. There's two different ways to do it. I, uh, let's see if we can fast travel somewhere and I can show you both real quick. 
Did I say big four? Big two. I Listen, I have been gone for two whole days, or three whole days. I don't know what level whitetail are anymore. My albino whitetail weigh the hunter trolled? Does that mean he died of old age? Did you at least shoot him? I am extremely tired still. <laughs> I got home yesterday. Uh, what time did I get back? 5.30? Ate dinner. Walked upstairs. Got in bed at like 8. Shadow was super excited I was home, so it took me a little while to fall asleep. I'd imagine I fell asleep at 9. Shadow went out a couple of times at night, so I think I took her out at like... Maybe 11? Yeah. But remember... You said she was in here eating like pretzels or something. Yeah, she was eating my pretzels. What time was that? Even, like, almost yeah, so then and then at like 3 a.m. or something she wanted out. <laughs> anyway, I slept till 7. So, got a good 10 hours of sleep. Still very tired. Gaining knowledge? Yeah, let me, I already forgotten. Let me, uh, I think here will work. So there's two ways that you can alert animals with a shot. You could probably come up with the third way if you were like really creative, but at least the two consistent ways. So A, if you are under 200 meters, sorry, under 250 meters, but above 200 meters, you can alert them by shooting into the air with a rifle. Don't shoot near them because they will hear the bullet hitting the ground too. That's a separate sound they can hear. But if you just shoot into the air, so let's say, I know we can't see them well, there's reeds in the way, but I'll just keep like that one spotted. She is at, or he is at, 2.30ish. Zaggy, thank you for those 64 months. Welcome back. If we just fire a shot into the air, you can see he's now alert, but he's not going to run anywhere. You can do it that way with any rifle. Again, got to be between 200 and 250. If they're over 250, they might go to attentive. They're not going to go to alert and they won't move for you. If they're under 200, they're just going to spook. And then, of course, the other option is... I don't know what she's barking at. The other option is shoot at their feet with a 22. If I do that now because they're alert, I guess I'll show you. They might spook. Like, this one went from attentive to alert. I guess at this point, we might as well shoot them. But you gotta be careful about, like, doing that back-to-back. -back. They gotta be attentive at the most to guarantee you're not gonna spook them by doing that. Hey, Gunup. Do you have any luck this weekend? I certainly did not. Well, I did find a nice shed. I meant to do that. Missed the whole first half hour because of phone calls? It's all good, man. How you how you making out? You uh, <laughs> you still limping around? I am a little bit. Thanks for showing. No worries. Kind of my favorite thing to do, honestly, in these games is sort of like teach little stuff like that. Are you shooting the Darton Sequel 33 this year? I have no idea. I have not heard if we're using the same bows, if we're getting new bows. I guess, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later I'll find that out. Favorite state for whitetail? I mean, I've only hunted whitetail in West Virginia, PA, Indiana, actually Kentucky, and Tennessee. So I'm getting up there. Got, got five now. Got a whole, takes a whole hand to count all the states. I don't have enough experience in any other states to really say, like, yeah, like, you know, I like this type of hunting better. West Virginia was pretty darn cool as far as the out-of-state out of experiences. Tennessee and Kentucky, like, it was such, like, big woods public land. It's not a great high percentage way to hunt whitetail, at least. So I don't think I should even rank them. And then Indiana, I, I actually did like the public land in Indiana. So if I had to rank my out-of-state, it would be West Virginia, Indiana... Probably Tennessee and then Kentucky, but again, if I hunted in different places in those states, I may completely change my opinion. Did we go up here already? We did. Let's, um... It's gonna waste so much time. I used to have a tent here, but it disappeared. I guess we'll buzz over there. Maybe from here might be the shortest? What did I miss there? Somebody subscribing, I think. I hate that it doesn't show up on the alerts list, but thank you, thank you. Do you mount your IRL bucks? Uh, yeah. Only, like, so, um... I've got two shoulder mounted bucks. The big one I killed in 2021 and then my first buck. For both my brother and I, my dad said, you know, when we were eight, nine years old, we'll mount your first deer and put it on the wall. So there's like a little five point at my parents' house that I shot. Other than that, it's all like skull cap and Euro mounts. The Appalachian Mountains have a super low deer density. 
A lot of like big woods places like that do. I've hunted squirrel up there. Um, I can't remember. That might have been during fall turkey season. I seem to recall thinking like if a turkey comes out, we could shoot that too. But we were squirrel hunting. Uh, but yeah, we were up there. We did see some deer. But it's it's like big woods in probably any state. There's just way less deer. How do you become a member? I think it's the super chat button, but that link up there will also work. Want to do out-of-state private lane hunts? That's the move. Hey, just based on my success rate on out-of-state private lane hunts, I, I don't even think Indiana entirely counts because we were just hunting like little five-acre chunks. I'm at 50% so far. Largely because of your dad's stand placement on that one, but still. Are you going PA trout fishing or did you already go? I haven't been out since trout season actually opened. We went before that in a non-stocked body of water, just to be clear. It's not legal to uh, fish in stocked bodies of water before the season, but if you're in unstocked, you can. I don't think... Yeah, I haven't been out since. Almost guaranteed Diamond Red Deer my Quattro. Hopefully he makes it. Yeah, it's tough, Maximus. In the rut, it's kind of like that anything can happen type of deal. You have a little bit better idea of maybe where the bucks are going to want want to run, like ridges and stuff, checking for does. That's what we did in Tennessee, and Aaron at least ended up, he saw two bucks and actually hit one of them, unfortunately. Ended up being a little bit too high, so that one got away. But, like, when we went to Kentucky in September, probably should have known better than to expect to be able to find deer as easily as I was hoping to, but it's just so tough. It's either, it's kind of like hunting small parcels in a way. Either like you're into them, like you're in a little pocket of where the deer are staying at that particular time on public land, or you're not. Because they kind of move around. They don't, it's not like a 365 day thing. Private land, farm country and stuff is a little bit different the way that deer kind of congregate. Whole different ball game on public. Big public. We're going to hunt whitetail next outside of, at home here in PA. Guess we'll see where plans take us. At least at the current moment, nothing is set in stone. That's sad. It got a long, but I swear that was on target for a hard shot. Favorite map to hunt when you're not grinding great ones? I don't really do much great one grinding. I don't know if that influences my opinion anyway. I mean, Layton's my favorite map generally. I was thinking about doing a Layton video this week. Probably late in Trophy Cabin, but haven't been there in a little while. Public land whitetails are tricky anywhere? For sure. If you have, you know, there, there's... There's better states and worse states, public land-wise. If you're in a state with really good public land, you've at least got better odds. But, you know, that's like when, when we hunt out of state for whitetails on public. Like, even a two-and-a-half-year-old... I was gonna say 90, 80-inch eight points is like absolutely definite shooter you know as opposed to on private i'm looking at a hundred inch eight point being like eh, probably needs another year when you hitting them pa flatheads i have no idea i don't have any current plans for that when will you do away the hunter stream i was thinking about that prior to this one i gotta do another one fairly soon maybe what we'll do because i'm gonna do a video on way the hunter this weekend, probably. Going back to Aurora Shore, start to pass some time, see if we can get that albino uh, bison to age. Would love to spawn a melanistic caribou, too. And then maybe we can uh, piggyback off that and do another Aurora Shore stream, trying to age the bison further. First time watching live? Well, I appreciate you jumping in, man. As someone who has never had the luxury on hunting true private land, it sounds terrible. Wait, what? Why does it sound terrible? I thought that I would just totally expect that to say the opposite at the end. Uh, what's up, Maverick? Ever go to the Allegheny River for big muskies? I, I don't know what I was fishing for, but I did fish there once. My cousin took us... This is probably 10 years ago. My cousin took us up um, for like a... I guess it was more for catfish because we went at night. I caught one... I don't even know what it was. Like a little carp or something? Like a foot? And then cousin chopped it up for bait and didn't catch anything else the rest of the trip. 
Think my brain malfunctioned? Okay, I think you meant what I thought you meant. It's, you know, it's it's not as if Private Land is easy mode by any, maybe comparatively, I guess you could say that, but it's hardly easy mode by any stretch. Just the things that I love about hunting, the 365 day a year side of it, running trail cams and land management and all that kind of stuff. I totally see the allure of like the public land side of like 365, say like, you know, going out and scouting a bunch and trying to get like deep into the public land where most people aren't going. That stuff is really fun too, but I grew up, you know, with it a certain way and that's just kind of what I expect my experience to be. Playing the angler right now and the legendary fish is active and I don't know where to find it. If you're in the angler discord, that's a great way to, uh, to find that information out. Not a melanistic, by the way, those don't exist. Private's more controlled? Generally, yeah. I mean, you gotta have a pretty big plot of private land to, like, okay. You see guys on TV pass 170 inch three-year-olds. Pretty good odds that buck's not gonna get killed on the neighbor's property because a lot of those plots are huge. It's not nearly the same when you're hunting even like 100, 200 acres. But you still, you have a much better chance, even if you are on a small plot, of seeing that buck survive to the next year. Private usually means less pressure. Yeah, generally, at least for the vast majority of people, as far as they can get into public land and stuff. No diamond jet hunters. Nice thing about public is, if you spook the deer, you can just go somewhere private. If you do that, especially mature bucks might not come back. That, I would say, is the biggest advantage of public. If you're on a good-sized piece of public ground, you can kind of just keep going. Like, if they're not there, you can move to where they are. On small chunks of private, like my little 14 acres here, if I didn't have my dad's farm to go and hunt on, I'd be on public, I would bet, 85% of the time. Because there's, there's going to be a week where deer are using my property then they're gonna kind of rotate up to another piece that's just, just kind of what deer do they move around a lot not miles but they're gonna stay in slightly different areas they're gonna use different properties as they uh move along it's cool though the Dre brothers had huge farms like that i don't know how big but yeah they've got i believe some of the biggest properties like probably in the hunting industry i'm sure not the biggest Also, those guys are in Kansas or Iowa where the hunting pressure is crazy lower. Yeah, it's harder to get tags. Oh, I thought that was five. Um, you know, there's less deer that are getting hunted. There's a higher percentage of mature bucks. Like, the percentage of four-year-old bucks in some of those states compared to, say, a PA or a anything in the Northeast, really, is drastically different. Favorite five-star you don't have on Way the Hunter? Good one. Uh... Gotta be something on like Tickman Plains. Gensbuck, I bet. As we're hunting them, funny enough. Michigan has nice bucks, they do. Michigan's the is very similar to PA though. Any state does have nice bucks, at the end of the day. But Michigan's a very pressured state, like it is here. If you're in a spot that's really high pressure, it can be tough to find, you know, even like two and a half year old bucks consistently. That's changing as you know, I think the outdoor industry has kind of convinced people to pass younger bucks at least more but there's there's always going to be a percentage of you know i'm just here for the meat if it's brown it's down that kind of thing i think you're starting to see more people let you know a year and a half two and a half year old bucks go but yeah michigan it has the potential to produce monsters whether or not the rompola buck is real it still has the potential to produce monsters don't think there's public land here in Norway. You need to own a lot of land yourself. So, I don't know much about hunting out there. The way I understand a lot of hunting in Europe, and if Mel's here, she might be able to have a better answer than me. I think a lot of quote-unquote public land hunting in Europe is more like through hunting clubs. I, I think that's the way that it generally works. So, a lot of times they have the, the tags and stuff. You can get the tags through them. And they'll often own huge chunks of land that are similar to public i guess 
but probably much more tightly managed than public is. Used to have eight or nine deer on my granddad's 40 acres. Someone started hunting, started a hunting club, and we only have one doe that they left. Brown is down mentality is bad in Florida. Yeah, Florida is probably of the how many states are whitetail in? It's 40 something, 44, somewhere in there. Uh, it's probably in the 40s as far as like when somebody says I'm gonna go hunt whitetail, like what state they think of. Florida's unfortunately quite low on that list, and I'm sure that contributes to younger bucks being shot because people are like, ah. There's no bucks, no big bucks here. I'm going to shoot the first one I see. Basically all private owned. Sense make. That's kind of the way I understand it. Dad grew up with Mark Drury hunting together. Growing up, they own so much land. I mean, their, their uh, TV shows and stuff got so big. I'm not sure how much land they own to begin with. You know, prior to exploding on... Uh, the outdoor media scene but that certainly helps when you have the resources to get it browns down super bad in georgia slash alabama well the thing about like the deer population can be so insane in those states too that's what gets so different there maverick thank you for subscribing by the way like i know the tags you can get in georgia it's like 10 does or something at least in parts of georgia maybe it's all of georgia there's just so many deer they own small countries. Here in Georgia, it's if he turns broadside, he'll see God. We haven't seen a ton when we go. Every now and then we'll see deer, but I think it's... Isn't it South Georgia that has, like, most of the deer? It took him a while. Two bucks, ten does. I was thinking twelve might have been the total, but I also thought that my brain just thought of twelve, so I didn't say that. Alabama's three bucks, and I believe, unlimited does and sunspots. I, I can see why those are the regulations, because you don't want the population getting out of control, but that does make it tough, unless you've got those huge chunks of land to, you know, be able to consistently get mature bucks. What a nice little gathering of jackals. Kind of what we're actually here for to absolute monsters out there, but that's okay. Depends, they're in pockets on spots of South Georgia or dead, though. I'd imagine that's like any other state, too. Hey, Hydro. Just realized it's raining on Verhunga. Speaking of rain, I said I was going to tell you, a, well, probably a couple stories from our uh, Kentucky turkey hunt. This one is the one that I wanted to tell, and the rain completely reminded me of it. So let's uh, see if we can set up for maybe a shot on those two males. And then while we get up there, I'll do that. Ever been trolled by a jackal once or twice? Most of them might have made it. Which lodge should I buy in Classic? Depends on how much money you want to spend. I think the Texas Lodge is unequivocally the, like, best lodge. But it's also, like, 30 bucks. So... Do you want to spend that much money, or do you want to get one of the smaller ones? If you don't want to spend that much, get the Rustic Lodge, in my opinion. The Tropical Lodge is... It's a little bit bigger than the Rustic, but I think the Rustic has much better, like, Trophy Lodge vibes. Alright, so anyway. Yeah, JTAC knows the story. I promise it's worth it. So, uh... We went to Kentucky Friday for a turkey hunt. Drove down Friday morning. I got there 1.30, something like that. Hung out at the gas station because I got there earlier than I meant to. Bottom boy and Aaron uh, met me down there. We went, set up camp. Uh, by now it's probably like 4 o'clock. Got all of our stuff together and then we went to go try to put a turkey to roost. I had by this point already seen like, I don't know, 20-ish birds on private land. So I was feeling pretty confident. We head out. Clouds are a little bit dark. But, you know, weather looks alright. Something like this. I climb up the mountain, not mountain, large hill that I'm going to try to put birds of roost on. And I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I hear distant thunder rumbling. I'm like, okay, well that's not good. And it just, it had this, I don't know how to describe it, but it had this angry sound to it. It wasn't just your typical low thunder rumbling. It sounded pretty nasty, but I'm just like, all right, you know, it's miles out there. Turkeys will gobble at thunder. This might work. So, sitting there, 
Every now and then, I'm blasting off an owl hoot. And the thunder's just getting a little closer. Next thing you know, I see lightning in the sky. Alright. This is probably bad, but... If I get one bird to gobble, it's gonna be okay. Lightning strikes again. I start counting in my head. One, two, three. Thunder. Okay, it's three miles away. We're gonna be okay. I swear to you, like 30 seconds later, just boom, boom, boom. There's lightning and thunder everywhere. So I texted uh, the guys. I'm like, I don't think this is gentle. And Bottom Boy said like, yeah, this ain't worth it. Let's get out of here. I didn't get up and take like 10 steps. The biggest like crash roar of thunder and lightning. I watched lightning hit the ground like 60 yards away from me and just... <laughs> bolted out of the woods. I just ran down the hill, absolutely aided at the bottom of the hill, slid down. I got down there. Bottom boy comes running down off the opposite hillside where he was at. He has a video of, uh, he was trying to send like a Snapchat, I think, to his wife. He would say like, how's turkey hunting? And that crack of lightning hit right beside me, hit <laughs> on that video. So I'll probably try to include that in the eventual video of this hunt. And then Aaron comes back. He's the one with the truck. And he drives right past us. He doesn't see either of us. And at this point, we're kind of panicked trying to get into the truck. So we finally dive in and get back. It was pelting us with hail. We got soaked in like the five minutes it took for Aaron to get there. I've never in my life been scared of a thunderstorm. But running from that, like, I was so freaked out. But what if you die? Dude, like, I wouldn't say my life flashed before my eyes. But like I said, I kept, I had this feeling the entire time. Like, I should probably get out of here probably get out of here but like I, I was literally thinking this you know the deer the turkeys and stuff they, they're out here right now what are they gonna do they, I'll be fine I just had this feeling to watch the lightning like quite literally contact the ground like from you know in the game it's not gonna show very well but from here to the top of that hill away it spooked me so bad start recording cameraman never dies I didn't bring my camera for this because Luckily, I didn't. It would have been ruined the amount of rain we got. But I just didn't want to haul any extra stuff up there and potentially, you know, have to worry about making extra noise or whatever because I just wanted to sit down and try to put one to roost. Real lightning storms were scary. It was, it was just insane how fast it went from I can count to three between lightning strike and thunder rumble to, like, Lightning's hitting on the opposite ridge. It's hitting, you know, in the fields that are 500 yards away. It's hitting right beside me. I wish I had gotten it on film. I I know I didn't, like, make a sound or anything. I just, like, took off running. I would have loved to have known what my face looked like at that moment. Because I'm sure all color left my face. I must have looked like a ghost. It was so scary. Added context, we were in a pine thicket loaded with 60 foot tall, 14 inch around pine trees. The kind, the kind that swayed 10 feet to the side in the wind. Yeah, it had the aesthetic of a terrifying thunderstorm, too. It's funny because, well, because everybody's fine, it has become one of, like, the highlights of the trip. Obviously, could have been an extreme low light, too. But it's it's something to, like, see it that close. How big was the hail? Eh, what's a good... Like, not huge... The amount of toothpaste you put on your toothbrush? I don't know why that's the first thing I thought of. We have metal rods on our pier. Speak I'll, I'll read that. Speaking of that, I'm so glad I didn't have a gun. I don't know how far, you know, having a gun or any potential metal could redirect lightning. But that was, that was one of my other thoughts. Like, thank goodness I'm not staying out here with a shotgun-shaped lightning rod. Anyway. Uh, we have metal rods on our pier, and last summer it was thunderstorm, and we were watching hockey and lightning hit one of the posts that ran up the power line and fried our TV. It's like... They happen all the time. And usually nothing bad happens. But it's crazy the damage that can cause. Not big and all, but an absolute deluge. Did I say that correctly? It was coming down. And, and it was, like I said, it was so sudden. Like, the, we did know the storm was moving in. That part wasn't insanely sudden, but it did go from seemingly a mile away or so to right on top of us super fast. 
The hail, though, it was that big crack of thunder and lightning right beside us. And then instant hail. And not like... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Like, you know, little bits hitting the, the leaves and stuff at first. Just absolute clouds opened up, dump tail on us. Hey, thank you, Aizon. I should tell you my shed story, too, while we're on this topic, but I'll come back to it in a little bit. I was going to say, I figured Mel probably had it, and then... I forgot I shot that line already. Probably had it, and then uh, when she did her reset, it went away. I guess we didn't get him very good. Eh. Oh, hi. Oh, it's you. I wish I hadn't paused and just shot him. How did he get up there, then? Maybe I was telling my story and didn't pay attention what way you ran. Oh, they move fast. Oh, he died. Hey, thank you, Michelle. Do you have a pick of that shed you found while you were hunting? Yeah, I don't have a good one. I've got it, like, sitting on my desk here, so I might try to get a better one. I've got a pick next to the shed that Bottom Boy found, and it makes the shed that I found look way too big. And then I've got a pick of me holding it, and just the angle that I'm holding it at, it doesn't make the shed look nearly as big as it is. I would guess if it didn't break the G3, it's maybe, like, a 45-inch side. It's got really solid mass. Like, I can just, like, touch my finger and my thumb... If I'm holding around the base, up at like the, just below the G2, it's about that same level of mass. It's a really, really quality public land buck. Is having gotten nearly 2,000 EM in Classic as a free-to-play good? No. Terrible. What's up, Cookie? Haven't gotten to catch a stream in quite a while, but hope you're doing great. We are just chilling. Hope you're doing well as well. I hate when I do that. I always want to say, hope you're doing good as well, because then it doesn't become that weird contradictory thing. It's got good girth. I guess I should just tell the story, because this one's much shorter. So Bottom Boy found a shed Saturday, right? I think so, like right at the end of our hunt on Saturday. Sunday rolls around, we're getting close to like mile 15 on the weekend, just basically done. We had done a blind setup because we got to get back to the trucks, we got to check out of the campsite by 11. Tried to get stu stupid lucky and call one in, none showed up. And we're just heading out. So we get to the very point of this ridge that we're on. Can I not be stuck? Alright, I guess I'm not going this way. There's a spring buck up here though. It's a good spot. Uh, what if I just fast travel back? Have you ever considered hunting in Africa? It's actually not something I'm super uh, intrigued by, personally. I'll try this again now that we're unstuck. So, did a blind setup, end of the hunt. We're basically walking back to the truck now. If one gobbles, maybe we'll set up on it. We get to the very point... About to drop down over. And I'm kind of like head down. I'm exhausted. Just looking at the ground. And I see like Aaron's boot. The heel of his boot. And I watch it lift up. And I'm telling you it is two inches from the shed. He stepped right over. Almost stepped on it. And it, it just shocked me. I feel so bad <laughs> for my reaction. It just shocked me so bad. I just went, you freaking goober. <laughs> I felt like I just made him feel like an absolute idiot for not seeing this shed. I <laughs> just like bent down, picked it up like, really? You didn't, <laughs> didn't see that? I still feel bad about it. St stuck in tent, still a thing, still a thing. Flint of the judgmental freak strikes again. I literally within like 30 seconds, I was like, sorry, I don't know. Why. <laughs> just, I was so stunned, like watching his foot lift up because I, I wasn't, I hadn't seen the shed yet. I sort of was just walking along behind him and just seeing how close he stepped to it. Just, <laughs> I don't know. Didn't bother looking for sheds while I was out, but I did put a trail camera over a 
deer trail and a decent rub, well, hopefully you find something good there. Didn't they get Hollywood Brown Clark? They don't need Ayuk as well. They'll be fine. There's chances that Ayuk ends up with the Steelers yet, so I'm, I'm hopeful. Excuse you, tacos? Waffles or pancakes? I'm a waffles person. I think waffles. If you get really good pancakes, they're hard to beat, but you can also do some really good things with waffles. I'll say, like, at each of their best, waffles. If you change weapon back and forth, you can get out of the tent most of the time. What? Really? I wonder why. Great one grinder right now. Give me some Flantro luck. All right. I bequeath my extreme great one luck to you for 12 seconds. Hope he shows up. Make it a t-shirt, Danny. Got a super rare Plains Bison last night. Was yours the Mellow that I saw? I saw somebody post a Mellow Diamond. Ooh, nice grader. That does remind me, when I, um... When I worked at the college dining hall... <laughs> back in my day... Uh, they had, like, these huge waffle irons. If I had a morning shift, there was a guarantee I was having the thickest waffle of all time. Top tier. Mexican food or Chinese? Like, in a vacuum, Mexican food? I haven't had Chinese in so long, I would definitely choose Chinese, like, if you gave me the two options for tonight. I guarantee you guys couldn't hear that. Kyla said she could eat Mexican food every day for the rest of her life. Queso? How many tents can you place on a map? 16, I think. Uh, so, funny you say that, Clark. Juju posted quite a picture, apparently, on his Snapchat this weekend. I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if he's a great soldier either. What? Queso as a dip is a, that's doing queso a disservice. We don't eat beans for fun. <laughs> Wait, I don't think they eat beans for fun either. They're obsessed with it. No, I'm mad now. You don't talk shit about queso. Hey, this is a YouTube they don't stream. They have a relaxer. No, no. They have the worst food over there. Oh my. I'm dying at the idea of like, Oi, bruv, what you want to do today for fun? I don't know. You Want to crack open a can of beans? <laughs> he didn't show up. Dang it, I thought that would work. Sounds good, Dilly. Best of luck. Haven't seen anything on Juju. Just remembering how he performed in 2022. Fair enough. Yeah, his, uh, I don't know why, but apparently he decided to show all on Snapchat. She said a bad word. I know, I'm gonna get banned on YouTube now. Oops. I'm gonna be living in a cardboard box. In my computer box. <laughs> Beans are versatile though? They are. I would, I would say queso is also versatile. Beans are just essentially British queso. I think that's what we're discovering. We got a we haven't even hunted kudu yet. We should probably do that. Can we put beans on potatoes? Beans on potatoes? Yes. Why? I don't know. Mel doesn't like beans? I always knew you weren't British. If you're asking me that, Mel, no, I haven't checked anything. The only roof you're going to have is Shadow's Rough. We'll uh, make Shadow the hunter. She can go and track down some rabbits for us. I need to watch it. Fake Brit! Shame her! Boo! You don't like beans. Tuesday. Alright. <laughs> it's 
Let's go. Let's go shoot some cootie before I say something stupid. Not that I haven't done that. Bush's baked beans are great. That's the kind we get, isn't it? I get uh, country style or whatever. Usually if I do burgers on the grill or hot dogs or anything, I'll do beans as well. Does Kudu start at 8? Eight? 8. 18? Does Kudu start at 8? <laughs> For shame. Don't drink tea or coffee? I think that's, well, that's fair. The no coffee thing is fairly... I know a lot of people that don't like coffee. Need a bottle of water and some beans on toast, mate? <laughs> How's your girlfriend? What's a girlfriend? I only have a fiance. Upgrade. Coffee and tea are life? I hate tea personally, but well, okay. Iced tea is fine. Coffee though. It's funny because, well, no, I like coffee. No, that has nothing to do. I haven't liked tea ever. Rice getting sued for a million? At his stage in his career, that's a big deal. Tea is just salad water. I mean, coffee is just bean water, right? Just recently got my first great one. Moose, nice, man. You live on coffee? Like, I know that I'm fine without coffee. I didn't have coffee when I was uh, turkey hunting in Kentucky, for instance, but pretty much every morning, that's the very first thing I do. There's just something about it, like sit down, edit a video, drink a cup of coffee. It's not a cup of coffee. It's like a tumbler of coffee, really, but just a good way to start a day. Do I need it? I need caffeine of some sort, actually. I will get headaches and stuff if I don't have caffeine, but you know, usually I record videos with a Mountain Dew, so do I need the coffee? No. Do I want it? Yeah. Stupid pizza. Oh. We'll make that for dinner. That's fine. <laughs> You're from PA Pixel. Have you... I think it's... Is it Pittsburgh or... Philly? I don't know. I think it's Pittsburgh. There's a style of pizza that's like cooked crust and and then just like cold toppings, cold cheese, cold pepperoni, cold whatever. Have you ever had that? Or do you know anybody that's ever had that? Got a five star sandbar, there you go. Hey Spruce Lodge. I like your logo by the way. Routines like that make things flow better. I'm a very like routine or I hate when things don't go to plan or like when my routine has to be broken. I think it's ADHD things, but like for instance, if I got a you know, maybe it can be the simplest thing. Got to go to the bank today and order a new check. Something as simple as that. That's, I think you can do that over the phone, but just bear with me. I will be like, for three hours, I'll be like, don't be late. Got to get this done so that I can go to the bank in three hours. Just ruins my entire day. It's so dumb. You have core? Call of the Wild probably is what you meant. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I too have core. That's Beto's Pizza? Beto O'Rourke. So I saw a video of someone eating a pizza with beans and over easy eggs as the toppings. That's got to be like a like a British... Is it called British breakfast? Why do I feel like it's the wrong phrase? Hey, Josiah. Well, I know that's like their type of breakfast, but then just... I mean, breakfast pizza exists. As a Broncos fan, I'm biased, but that should be prison. Uh, yeah, I mean... Is he going to end up in prison? Probably not. He's doing, like, criminal acts, and I think there's eight charges right now, and they haven't charged him for fleeing a crime scene yet. Fleeing an accident, I mean. What's your favorite flavor of Mountain Dew? I literally, as dumb as this is, I just drink zero sugar almost exclusively. I'll drink regular. I like that, too try to, you know, be extremely healthy with my Mountain Dew Zero instead. Taste-wise or health-wise? Health -wise, Probably not. I'm sure it's bad for me. But, uh, yeah, I don't really drink, like, Voltage or Code Red. 
Even Baja Blast, like I have that with Taco Bell, but outside of Taco Bell, I think I prefer regular more. How's the stream been? We've been chilling. I think uh, we're gonna run up through here for Rakudu. We'll try to get as far as we can. We've been good. Knock on invisible wood. So I think we're gonna do some angling by the end of this. How's the doggo been? She's been good. Uh, she was quite happy to see me get home yesterday and then I had to leave this morning. So she was absolutely distraught when I came back again. She also, when I got back, so I was like stupid dehydrated in Kentucky. We were, I don't know how many miles we walked total. I know we did something like, it might have been more than eight actually. I thought it was seven or eight the first day and like maybe six the second day. I don't know. A lot of miles. At least for me. So I was pretty dehydrated. And every gas station I stopped at, both on the way down, because I knew this was going to happen, and on the way back, I was like, I got to run in there and grab chapstick. Forgot it all three times. So when I got home, the first thing I did, because I keep chapstick here in the office, I grabbed my tube of chapstick, put on some chapstick, and then I went to bed. I was out. Like, I was so tired. I guess Shadow came in and stole my chapstick off my nightstand and just ate it. So that was fantastic. She did throw up that earlier. That was unfortunate. You know, there's Baja Blast Zero. Yeah, if I go to Taco Bell, I used to get the Zero. But the thing is, like, half the time, they, like, if you order, we always order mobile because, God forbid, I have to talk to someone. Um, <laughs> so half the time, I'll just give you an empty cup, and you can fill it up with the little fountain thing. Half the time, they do it for you. If they do it for you, they usually don't mark the lid and Kyla doesn't care for the zero sugar one. So I just get both regular. If they give me an empty cup, I just get zero because, again, I'm just the healthiest man of all time. If you eat 40,000 bananas in 10 minutes, you die of radioactive poisoning? Thank goodness I didn't eat those last three. Wait, what? Maybe Shadow had chapless, but you never taught her to use it? Maybe. I never thought of it that way. Have you ever gotten a splinter? Plenty of times. Should do a video with Rooster? Do you think he would wake me up in the morning? Healthy pop is a thing? Oh, I don't know why my first thought was like... I don't know what you meant by pop, but now I do. Uh, yeah, I think that's actually how you lose weight, is you drink nothing but soda. Feel like Flinner has worth teeth, worth teeth, than I do, and I'm British. I do have some bad teeth. They're just very crooked. It's kind of a decent one. I think we hit a little too high. That rooster joke was bad. It was pretty bad. Was it as bad? What did I say in that bear video? Something barely. <laughs> it was rough. Unsubscribing for that? I, I earned that. Do you go to the gym? Nah, if I'm working out, it's like... Anything to do with, you know, for instance, turkey hunting in Kentucky, walking a bunch of miles, you know. Most like, if you, I guess you would call it like fitness related things. I, I don't know that I work out in any way because it's kind of unfair to say like lowing, mowing the lawn is working out. But as far as staying in shape and stuff, it's just that kind of thing hunting I guess fishing like if I'm in a canoe or whatever the rowing aspect of it yard maintenance running the chainsaw all that that's that's my way to keep fit nice one Haley when you've been attacked by a rooster you don't joke about them anymore we had a rooster, so we had uh, maybe like a dozen laying hens at one point when I was younger. We also had meat chickens, by the way. If you've never owned meat chickens, they are the most disgusting creatures. Laying hens, though, are great. So we first just had laying hens. And the reason we even got them to begin with was at my grade school, there was a, it was a fourth grade like science thing. We had an incubator. I think, I think my class had like 
12 kids in it, something like that. And there were maybe 20 eggs because inevitably some aren't going to hatch. And everybody at least had the opportunity to take home a chicken if you wanted to. Wonder if I grew up in a farm town. Uh, so I did that in fourth grade. My brother did that in fourth grade. Now we have two chickens. Oh, and my sister did it in fourth grade. So like after, I think she's three or four years behind me. Anyway, after a couple years, we have three chickens. My sister's was a rooster. So once we had the rooster, things in the chicken coop got like a little more chaotic. But my brother's chicken would beat the heck out of that thing anytime it like got out of line. So we never really, like it didn't try to um, spur us or anything like that for the life of me. I couldn't think of that term. It was really annoying me because it's turkey season. Uh, yeah, it never messed with us really. Just living life is enough of a workout? I agree. Flancho's workout is carrying all of us to the happy land of serotonin. What school did you go to? It is way too small a school for me to tell you that. It would, uh, <laughs> it would very much give away, like, exactly where I grew up, and I'd rather not do that. Angler has an update? Uh, yeah, I, I updated it this morning. What is it? What did it do? Was it just fixing crashes? I crashed today, so... Well, you should drive better. I thought that was kind of good. No. Woman drivers, am I right? Which way is he facing? I think towards us. He was. Good. Got a hen turkey on Saturday. Dented my already broken truck. Nice. You should have had B drive. You could have put it through his windshield. Hello from Central PA. What's going on, man? Darn near my neighbor. Just got an albino gator on a random multiplayer server. There you go. I also killed an albino on a random multiplayer server today, and that will be in a video eventually. Not a gator, though. Something else. Pizza's having a seizure. He, uh, he's fine. Remember how you said earlier you weren't going to say something stupid? <laughs> I didn't think that was stupid. Did Kylo wake up and pick violence today? Blink twice if you need help. My little sister shot a Tom with a 10-inch beard. I don't know for sure that... I, well, first of all, congrats to her. I just immediately thought of my sister also killing a way bigger turkey than either my brother or I had gotten at this point. I can't remember if the one my brother got two years ago was bigger than that or not, but my sister, when she was really young, killed a way nicer bird than I ever had. Stupid funny? That's exactly the brand of humor I go for, so I accept that. I just realized I have binoculars for this. I don't know what I'm doing. Called the game commission, did everything legal, and they let me keep her, so I ate her and kept the feathers for fly tying? That's actually, like, not a terrible deal. Minus the truck damage, which sucks, but at least nice that... Oh. Hall of Shamer? At least nice that you got to keep the feathers. Heard no response. That's a good sign. You didn't hear my uh, eyelids. Like Spongebob. Next diamond hit the gritty? No. I'll look like Mike Gesicki doing the gritty. It won't be good. All right, these things flee kind of fast. Uh, I think there's a gap. Uh, no, there's a... It's going to be possible. This could be really hard because I can't... Okay. Need... Need this one to drink, basically. Or, actually, the smarter thing. Okay, you're alert. Can you, like move not you really reload your 22 you reload your 22 all right i'm like dutch vanderland i have a plan what happened <laughs> i don't understand how that one didn't hit that was some pa shooting right there 
Shock was wrecked three times before I got it. At this point, my little F-150 is on auspice. The little F-150 that could. What would you do with a Brandon Ayuk anyway? Your QB is Russell Wilson? Shots fired. Man, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the last time Russell Wilson played the Chiefs, he won. Not a lot of people do that. Your voice is so crisp and calm. Why, thank you. Whiffed on both. Now I got the what? The level one. Oh, wait, I didn't? What, what happened on the level one? I was sure I got that one. I didn't even see blood. You set on 300? Oh. Whoops. Skill issue, this is Danny's fault for making me reload the 22. Not that I didn't need to use it again, but... <laughs> I did hit it. I think. No, I hit a female at some point. Excellent. What's up, Ridge? Well, the female died. I'm not tracking that. Ate two speckled trout for lunch today. That's a good way to start out your week. If they make a new lodge, there should be custom mounts, some sort of organizer for trophies, like organizer or filter for the trophy manager. The fact that we don't have that is kind of absurd at this point. Totally agree. And unique plaques with different vegetation. Also totally agree. Just found five of my missing bears. They weren't rendering because of my tent. I hate it when that happens. Hey, one shot. On my hunt Saturday, I found a white feather that looks like a turkey feather, so I might have found evidence of a white turkey on the little piece of private. Ooh, nice. Speaking of that, when I uh, when I was out this morning, two different places, I saw bald eagles eating roadkill with, like, two crows. I think it was two crows the first time, maybe three crows the second time. I've never in my life seen a bald eagle eating roadkill, and then twice in a matter of, like, three miles. It was kind of neat. Forgot, because, you know, we won it all. <laughs> Yeah, I can't argue that one. Do you like fresh or saltwater fishing better? I've never saltwater fished, but I think I would like freshwater fishing better anyway. I generally, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it, but I'm not huge on like, throwing a big hunk of bait out there and waiting. I like to, whether it's fly fishing or, you know, spinning tackle, whatever, I like to just be actively fishing is that a passively I guess doesn't matter Joe Burrow Super Bowl MVP this season I, so like the first thing I wanted to do is be like is he even gonna be healthy but I like Joe Burrow so I won't do that well I guess I kind of did that but point is I didn't immediately try to be a jerk because I actually like him all the big males today we haven't killed anything special yet do you ever have any like scary hunting experience well, the lightning nearly hitting me while I was trying to roost a turkey was pretty spooky this past weekend. That's probably the most in the moment, like, scared I've ever been while hunting. The only other one, I'll tell the short story, because or short version, because I've, I've told it before on stream. So, here in PA we have what's called Youth and Senior Citizen Doe Season. It's at the very end of our early muzzleloader season, so it's, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of the week of early muzzleloader. So the first four days is just muzzleloader doe season. The last three days, if you're, I think, under whatever the youth... Oh, another one. Wow. If you're under whatever the youth age requirement is or over 65, you can use a rifle instead of using, like, an inline muzzleloader. So, uh, the day before the youth season started, I had gotten a ground blind for my birthday, so my dad and I took it out. I went out with him, he shot a pretty good sized doe with his inline, and we went back the next day for the youth season. We go walking in there, and right about where the gut pile was, we're passing that, and just this ungodly shriek. Like, child screaming, probably like through a megaphone, like 10 yards away. That scared me just, just the sound like in the surprise factor scared me so bad it ended up being like a bobcat and it wasn't that scary after the fact but just the immediate surprise of it spooked me pretty good especially because i was like 12. it followed us too like we could hear it walking behind us so the fact that it was kind of after us a little bit was kind of spooky but it, 
not too, like, scary. Bobcats aren't that big. That was you screaming? I knew it. I didn't know Burrow was on New Heights. Recently? Hoping there's a lot less injuries this year? Fingers crossed. It sucks, like. Teams you're interested in watching whether you're a fan or not when they're basically out of it because their QB gets hurt. It's just a less fun sport. Ever killed any predators in real life? I think just a fox? I feel like I probably have... I've never killed a coyote, never killed a bear. I mean, I could just be forgetting, but I think a fox is the only one. Has any animals attacked you in real life? Like a goose. <laughs> I think that's it. Hey, Ribbit. I was doing school. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> Welcome on in. We're actually about to uh, switch to the angler. We're going to make it... Well, not about. We got a ways to go yet. Two-ish kilometers or the end of cootie drink time. So like 15 minutes, we're going to switch to the angler. This is my first turkey season. Any tips? Uh, I guess my question would be, are you, is like someone taking you? Or are you going with someone? Or are you hunting by yourself? Because that'll kind of drastically change my uh, answer. What's your fast food? Like my go-to? I mean, the thing is, it's usually Taco Bell because it's probably the cheapest and also the most filling. They did finally redo the sheets close to us though, so it's open again. And I do like almost anything Sheets makes. Uh, I was so close to getting a coyote one night. My platinum blonde hair gave me away though and he took off. I should have killed that one in West Virginia if I wasn't bad. I, just, I knew better. Like I really did. It was a super steep angle. I, I should have known that I needed to aim a little lower than I think. And I also didn't range him, so he might have been a few yards closer than I thought, but I shot right over his back. Are you ever going to bring the Red Dead 2 stuff back? So we'll see. Um, my current plan is probably... When's uh, GTA 6 supposed to come out? Is it 2025 or 26? Anyway, at some point in the lead up to that, I'm going to probably... Over on Twitch, of course... Uh, like, do a playthrough of GTA 5 again just for fun. Not a, oh, well, again, first time on stream, like, third time for me. As, you know, we did with Subnautica before Below Zero and stuff like that. 26? So, yeah, we, we have some time before I'm planning on doing that. Maybe we'll do some Red Dead as well, like, especially if we finish it before GTA 6 comes out. Favorite candy? Like, honestly, just... A plain Hershey bar is as pure as it gets. Not that Hershey's chocolate is particularly pure, but if it's chocolate that you're used to anyway. I know, like, Europeans say that American chocolate is disgusting. 2025, I can't type? Oh, is it 25? If it's 25, I gotta, for one, I gotta upgrade my PC before that happens. Definitely that has to happen. What a basic answer. It's true, though. Reese's 100%. I like Reese's, but they're a little, like, rich, I guess. Flitter is so vanilla. No, I said chocolate. That's different. It is 25, okay. Mexican candy is goaded. You know what? I can't, What's the name of it? So one of you guys will be able to help me. Like, super old-timey candy that comes in, like, a little bag. I cannot for the life of me come up with a name. Heath Bars? I, I don't even like them, but I used to eat them because of Heath Miller. I think he had a deal with them. Tootsies, no. Ooh, dang, I thought it was five. You like Belgian chocolate? What about Belgian waffles? We already had this conversation. It's bug. If I look up old candy, I bet I'll find it. Old candy. Uh... <laughs> Go figure. What's up, Ian? Vanilla like plain? I knew you meant. 
just an opportunity to make a terrible joke. We can't all have the elite stuff. Mel doesn't like waffles. There's a mountain air joke in there somewhere, but I won't make it. Favorite hard candy. Speaking of that, I re again, this is, a, I guess, basic answer. I really like Jolly Rancher gummies. So good. Favorite hard candy is not Jolly Ranchers, though. Probably... I mean, I do like Lifesavers, but that's kind of the same thing. They're kind of different. Twix, best candy, nerd gummy clusters? Nerds are good. Sweet Tarts? Is Sweet Tarts a hard candy? I guess so. Snickers, best chocolate ever? I don't mind Snickers. Three Musketeers has a soft place in my heart. Is that the right way to phrase that? I think so. Or in my stomach, anyway. Because that was the candy bar that I was, I was like, about to open it when my first buck stepped out. We were sitting in a tower stand. And then my dad missed him, and he gave me the gun. And then I shot him, and then I ate it. Old Man Flinter likes Werther's Originals. So there's some off-brand thing, but my parents always have those, like, butterscotch hard candy things. And in hunting season, I murder those things. Can't see the mountain hair joke there. Well, like, see, I like waffles, and I have diamond mountain hair. Need help on my math test? What's the square, square root of 238? It's definitely 12. Don't look it up. It's 12. Sour Skittles are the best. I thought that said are the beans at first. Nobody cares about your mountain hairs. Fried potatoes and onions and over easy eggs are a great snack. I'm not sure if it was the time commitment or the fact that it's maybe not the healthiest meal ever, but basically every Saturday for, I don't know, the first year that we lived in this house, I would make that. Well, Kyla doesn't like over easy eggs, but I would make like the potato hash that you're talking about and then scrambled eggs or whatever for her. I do over easy eggs for myself. Like every weekend. Is every answer on my math test 12? Yeah, they can't possibly mark that wrong. <laughs> the amount of grandmas that gave me butterscotch for Halloween? Here you go, sonny. Go and eat it all at one place. If he brings up non-tips, it's on? I wouldn't do something like that. Like, having no non-tips sucks. It's gotta be the worst feeling ever. I would never say anything bad about someone who doesn't have non-tips. <laughs> Did that say Winston? I just saw it the last second. Thank you for subscribing. Do you ASMR next stream? Should I like do phone tapping? I'm gonna accidentally call somebody if I do that. Am I good at it? Four diamonds now. Nice. What animal would you want at IRL? A caribou are my bucket list hunt. And I don't care, Abu, what you have to say. That's the best answer. I do have non-tips, though, so heck you. <laughs> That's why I said it's the worst feeling ever, but I wouldn't say anything bad about it. Was that Sunny, the old lady thing I was doing? Flinter hunts in real life? Yes. Just had two customers last week gave me a dozen fresh eggs each. Nice. Fresh eggs are the best. Like, it's... It's funny, because you would... I think it's fair to describe fresh eggs as, like, not that much better than store-bought eggs. But they are just that little bit better, and it makes a heck of a difference. What happened to Ultimate Hunting? Yeah, we talked about this on stream here and there, so it's worth looking again. I don't see that they've posted anything anywhere. So, I think it was around Christmas. Uh, I killed two of those, didn't I? Uh, they posted like what was a really good high quality encouraging trailer but we have heard basically nothing since now I think last month there was a quote or a post or whatever from I think Raintech 
that said something to the effect of like, hopefully soon we can have news of something. Not a release date, but uh, maybe a uh, publisher or so. I, I can't remember what he said. But it was, it was something like, hopefully next month we have promising news. I think it's been more than a month and we haven't heard anything. You can taste the difference just like fresh fruit and veggies homegrown. That's a, well, I guess it quite literally is the difference too, but that's a great example. We get store-bought onions and stuff all the time, but when my dad gives us garden fresh onions, I want to grow some of my own this year, but anyway, it's just like, do not under any circumstances let that go to waste. Have you tried Wagyu? I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. I have not. I only brought up the, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, because I was watching Pat McAfee show, or listening to Pat McAfee show clips on my drive uh, to Kentucky, or maybe home. It was both, but I can't remember which. Anyway, somebody said it wrong, and now I can't remember what's correct. I know of him, Harlow. At this point, even if it comes out, the hype is long dead. If it's a good enough game, I'm sure it'll, you know, be able to regather that hype. Rekindle that hype is a better word. But, like, there's a reason, I guess, that I never really... I haven't made any videos about it on my channel. We talk about it on stream plenty. But even from the moment that the first screenshots and stuff started to come out, we had heard about it, and it took so long for anything to happen, I was just like, I'm not going to make a video on this until I'm sure that it's actually happening. And unfortunately, I've never been at the point where I'm sure it's happening. Which sucks. Still want to grow potatoes? We can maybe do like a row of them. Is it hot in PA? It's warm today. I'm, I'm sweating sitting here. How many hunt in real life? That's a good question. We can roll call how many people in here hunt in real life. I'm not going to count them, but I am one of them. McAfee-isms? Going downtown. We raise our own beef eggs and grow our own vegetables and fruit. That's awesome, man. I've often said, if I ever win the lottery, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to buy a farm, and I'm going to be self-sufficient. Couldn't think of the word. Got Color Command, Bing, Rusty, Maximus, Gunhub, Hydro, Drake, Hydro tries, I try to. <laughs> Fishing count? Sure. Not yet, I'm 12, but I will this year. That'll work. Should I get the 7 mil or 300 in Classic? Uh, I'd probably go with 300. Are you talking about the 7 mil bullpup or break action? The bullpup being a fast follow-up shot rifle, that was a terrible way to describe it, is good. Chickens are pretty easy to hunt, oh my. Danny does. Another night on my next run, there you go. I grow my own grass in the yard. That could be misconstrued. Speak of that, I gotta get the grass mowed and there's no way I'm gonna get it done before we go to Georgia. So when we get back, it's gonna be so out of control. Growing some zucchini, peppers, and cantaloupe? Nice. I have a question. What's that? I have two moves that scored 300.4. What are the chances of getting two that score the same? Obviously not super high. The one thing I would say is they really, at the absolute max, it's between like, you know, 300 and 301.5-ish. There's not a huge range, say for like the potential max weight ones and stuff. So I guess maybe that's more likely than... I might say that's more likely than having two 290.4s, let's say. Normal grass, not that other stuff. A one acre garden? That's a good size garden. I don't know how big ours will be this year, but it ain't gonna be an acre. Where's Bottom Boy? I'm sure he's busy with work. Do you watch your own videos? The only videos that I ever watch other than like Okay, just finish editing this video. Let's, let's watch through it. Make sure I didn't screw something up. I'll go back and watch my IRL hunting videos because I like to relive that stuff. My favorite time ever doing that, I when I was in Tennessee, the last day, so Aaron left. We hunted together down there. He had to leave a day earlier. So I hunted uh, one more morning and then I went back to the Airbnb, cleaned things up and headed home. While I was cleaning stuff up, I don't know why. I guess probably because I didn't kill anything that hunt. I put on my video of my... 180 that I killed and there was something like about watching it from like on the TV it was like a removed perspective a little bit it just it was weird to like 
experience it be like, huh, that happened to me. That's a big cutie there and I can't spot him. Okay. Dad just killed an access tier down in Texas? That's pretty cool. You should open multiplayer map and make everyone grind for you. <laughs> all right, my minions. Shoot them all. That's not even a max weight one. I thought he was so much bigger than the other. Is the B and C camo good in classic? It's on sale, so I'm thinking of buying it. So, it's only effective on deer species. If you hunt deer mostly, it's the best suit to get. If you hunt like a lot of bears or literally anything other than deer, I would maybe not grab that one. Wish Classical Net was on Xbox? I do too, because not only do I think the classic videos and streams would be more popular, which I, clearly I don't care about that too much because I'm still doing weekly videos and streams on classic, but I just wish more people could experience it. It is truly the best hunting game ever made. How do I get the 300 rifle not high caliber pack? The, the canning? You have to buy the Yukon Valley DLC. It's a part of that DLC. Doing schoolwork? Nice. I think there's set scores for rares. I don't think it would work that way, but maybe there's like... Whoop, didn't mean to do that. I always wondered, you know, could there be something in the code? Because for a long time, it doesn't happen anymore, but for a long time, rares would almost exclusively be uneven. So if you found like an albino whitetail, it was like guaranteed that it was going to be... Look at his jaw sticking out. It was going to be, um, you know, lopsided. It was going to have like, you know, maybe want it or the curved way in or way out or something like that and my thought was whatever random you know I'll make it super simplistic it's obviously far more complicated than this but let's say that uh, if the number is evenly divisible by 12 then it's gonna be uneven and then also if the number is evenly divisible by 6 it'll be rare that is definitely not how it works but you can see where there'll be a lot of crossover because not every number, but many will fit both those categories. There could be something in the code that, you know, is more likely to have certain scores show up for rares too. Where there's a crossover for score and, and fur type, I mean. Made 12 on my math test. I did good. Perfect. That's an A+. Plus. PB Bass, 4 pounds, 2 ounces. Caught him in West Virginia in 22. And I know that's not huge. But it felt it at the time. <laughs> now I want to hunt on Classic? I had nothing to do with this. I also want to play Classic, but I'm not going to get to maybe some tree stand editing in the mornings, but it's got so much to do this week. Go and be busy. It's a nice pass. I know, like, you know, a lot of people have seven pounders and stuff, so. It's just, I feel like when you say things on the internet, there's at least a subset of people that immediately assume that you're saying it as if it's like, here's a good example. If I'm going to make a video shooting my bow, target shooting, there's going to be people that are like, you're doing this all wrong. Why'd you post this video? Like your form's completely wrong. Like I'm not, it's not a tutorial. Like I'm not trying to tell you that I'm doing it the best. I just was making a video. There's that kind of thing that happens. Thus, I over explain a lot of things to try to avoid stuff like that. All right. I don't know if cootie drink here. Let's check here. Then we're going to jump on the angler for a bit. Have you ever mounted a turkey fan? My first turkey, which was a Jake. Um, I have like a little, like a plaque mount. So there's a back piece of wood, then there's the fan, and then there's a smaller piece of wood with a beard, uh, like, glued up into. Someone just got an 8-pounder? Not huge in other places? That's... I guess, like, professional bass fishermen and stuff maybe would disagree, but I, I don't know if there's anywhere where somebody would see an 8-pounder or not say that's a huge one. Even masters like Clay Hayes have to put up with those trolls, Flinter? Exactly. There's just, I mean, you know, I'm not saying any of you guys are like this or anything like that, but there's there's always those people on the internet that are going to nitpick and stuff, whatever you say. So I just try to make an effort to curb that, because why not? It's almost like, in a different sense, when I'm 
when I run into someone in multiplayer. You guys have seen plenty of chats from videos. Like, I'm always like, are you real? Yep. Uh, I can't type. I'm real. Always some kind of smiley face or whatever. Because I don't... It's possible to read it as if I'm, like, annoyed or whatever. Like, if I don't have an emoji there. So I always do one. Because I don't want to be, like, misconstrued as being annoyed that you're talking to me or whatever. So it's the same type of thing. Anyway. Let's jump to the anger. Let's see. Can I do this without screwing stuff up? I think so. So let's close this. Definitely doing it wrong. Don't care what it is. It's wrong. The first year that... And, uh... I would say the first year that I did real life hunting videos was the year that I got the most views on them. Whether it was because the channel was, you know, generally more popular at the time, the Call of the Wild was more popular, so more people were likely to jump over and watch the real life hunting videos too. I got so many more comments about like how literally everything I was doing was wrong. Meanwhile, like I, I was actually 2020, so it was maybe COVID year. Um, you know, my my bow was too loud, my arrows were the wrong weight, my FOV sucked. Don't use those lighted knocks, you idiot. That makes your FOV FOC sorry terrible. FOV. What am I playing games or something? It's just, more comments equals more moolah. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it ultimately supports the channel. But yeah, um, that is a part of it. And I just try to curb it to some degree. All right, so I'm going to try to catch Sidewinder. The first thing we're going to do is go and catch something that's not Sidewinder, because I'm not going to do another stream where I catch nothing for two hours straight. We're going to catch a few things on the way over to try to get Sidewinder, and then we're going to give it a shot. Horse Gang, am I reading that right? Thank you for subscribing. My idea is to try bottom fishing, though. I guess I pushed my boat to the side of the lake. Alright, so first thing I gotta do is see where he is. I looked this up earlier and I forget. I'm gonna need to have it on my own screen, though. Is it the spot I have marked? No, that's not where I didn't get him last time. It is... I don't know if you can change a YouTube stream title. I can try. What happens if I change it? Go to... I don't even do that. In YouTube Studio? I've never tried to do that. What Sidewinder? He's the legendary lake trout. He weighs like 100 pounds. He's the biggest fish in the game at the current point, which uh, makes it quite difficult to catch him. So if I hit edit on this. Gone fishing for legendaries. One specific legendary. All right. I don't know if that'll actually edit the title or not. So that's where we're going. We'll spawn... Let's just take a boat down from here. Why not? I missed that. Whoever subscribed, thank you. Bottom boy fishing? That's... Yep. Anything good? Uh, we didn't end up killing any diamonds or anything. Couple of nice kudu. Few solid gensbuck. Never did have any big springbuck. And now we're going fishing, even though that has nothing to do with the thumbnail. It does change if you refresh. What if I then... Because what I might do is actually throw an old angler thumbnail up there. That kind of seems like I should probably do that. Yep, wrong thing. You should collab with KG. Our content styles are so different. Uh, I don't know how well that would work. People ask for it a lot, so maybe I ought to consider it, but... Like I said, we, we just make such different content. Uh, that won't work, I guess. All right, well, we'll see how that goes. Off we go. Mel is Sidewinder? 100%. Uh, where's the thingy? Is it not here? Oh, no, it's that dock, I think. Just wondering if you knew there if there's a fix to those floating trees and why the hunters saw it in your videos, but is there a fix? But there is a fix. Wait. What is the fix? I misunderstood what you were saying. Which dock has the... How did I get all the way down here? It's that one, obviously. But... 
What level should I get to before going after legendary fish? I wouldn't say it's about level, I would say it's about equipment. Like, uh, what's his name? Goldstein the Bass. He's 27 pounds. You could probably catch him pretty reliably on, like, 20 pound test. Your 11 pound test will get him. But I'd probably try to get, like, at least the next step up. Because it's just going to be hard to catch him without him snapping your line off, which obviously is frustrating. The Burbit's about the same weight. Uh, Henrik, I think his name is. That um, brown trout, I landed him in like two minutes. So you might be able to catch him on light line, even though he's actually kind of big. So I've got as good of, oh, uh, one important thing I bet you I don't have. So that's my bottom fishing rod. Put like whatever on here. Yeah, one thing I got to grab. I know he hits artificial corn, so I will get that. Working lurking sounds good, K-Flow. It's a line you have to put in the engine? Oh boy. <laughs> I'm afraid of breaking things. I could try it, <laughs> but I always, anytime I'm like, get, goodness, this guy's played a little bit. Uh, anytime I have to do anything that could break things, it worries me. All right, baits, bottom baits, corn. Away we go. For real this time. Which line's the best? Mono braid? Um, so braid's gonna be a little bit stronger, but it has no stretch. So like, if you go all the way to max tension, braid will snap a little bit quicker. If you go all the way to max tension on like monofilament or fluorocarbon, it will stretch a little bit. It gives you a little more leeway. So, you know, depends on if you're like kind of aggressive with trying to land the fish or not. I would probably go braid because you're trying to catch something heavier than... You're already down there? I didn't know you were over there. I see that. Anyway, you're trying to catch something like heavier than what your line's rated for. Braid's probably your best choice. Very simple. We'll fix the trees and make the foliage look great. Is that like posted somewhere in their Discord or... If you want, you can throw it in my Discord and I can try it. Who's your favorite YouTuber? There's this channel called Kill a Kai. It's quite good. Was just tired of looking at the floating trees? I get you. Right, we're just gonna yeet a line out here and there as we go. I don't have at all what I... Okay, didn't even mean to do that. Did you guys hear that? Like it. Apparently we're seated again. Let's do... Size three spoon. I'm trying to get like pike. Or tiger musky or whatever. Do you play Rocket League? Is that what? I'm assuming there's no other RLs. I used to. I've got like 2,500 hours. I played it a whole bunch back in the day. It's been more than 40 years since I played it though. There we go. Oh, I don't have my drag set very high, but eh, that might not be anything. I'll put it in your Discord tomorrow. Sounds good. Real life? I don't know what playing real life would be though. Just ran a, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, Peter, I have no idea if that's good or not, but that's way faster than I could do it. I'm assuming that's good. What was your rank back then? I was grand champ, uh, probably the last like two years I played. My highest MMR was somewhere in the 1750s. I would play with like, occasionally I'd run into pros, like I played with Kronovi. Well, I got carried hard by Kronovi. I played with, uh, was it Calm, I think was his name? He was, like, really big in the 1v1 scene. A couple of alternates. I'm trying to think if there's any other pros I ran into. Yeah, it was cool. I mean, I was really... I watched all the RLCSs and stuff. I, uh, I watched the, uh... This is Rocket League, Justin goal. Zero second goal, which, sadly, they lost right after that, but... I, w I was huge into it then. So getting to see some of those guys. Like, Kronovi, even though he only won one RLCS. It was still really neat to run into him, and then, like I said, I think I scored one goal and he scored six. He absolutely carried me. Probably just die if I tried to run? Same. Never thought you'd play RL so much? I mean, I'd use, it almost sounds like an excuse for, like, wasting time, but when I lived in my apartment and had nothing to do, I played so much Rocket League. I got to Grand Champ in threes and twos. I don't think I ever got beyond whatever it was, Champ 
that was it champ one, two, three, and then grand champ, or champ one and two, and then grand champ. However that worked, I was one below grand champion once. Will you ever play again? I doubt it, because I, like, with anything, I'm just too competitive. So like, what I would end up doing is wasting way too much time playing that and not making videos. And I don't really have the time to do that. Like I played a bunch of Madden this past year for my football videos. If you didn't know, I picked every single NFL game uh, over on another channel, pretty much as an experiment uh, kind of thing. And I don't know, I put 400 hours into Madden or whatever. And it just like, I can't not try to keep getting better. Like sitting not at the max. So there's in Madden, there were different tiers. It was, I don't know how it worked. I think Legend was the highest tier though. And if I wasn't in Legend for Ultimate Team head to head, it would annoy me. And it's gonna be the same with Grand Champ, or it's different now, right? So I would just have to play a lot and it would be good. The content would suffer. You got a diamond widget? Nice. Should I touch grass? Don't touch grass, it's dangerous. Oh, Maximus said that too. <laughs> They say rares and non-typicals jump off cliffs to spite her. It's the legend of Mel. You better post on that channel again this year. It's too, so I definitely want to do some more football content. It is too much, at least the way I was doing it, to be able, like, because what I want to do is post in-season hunting content. One of the things, not the only thing, but one of the things that kept me from being able to do that was the fact that I was making the football prediction picks. So I don't know, I want to come up with another way to like do some football content, but that I can do way faster. Is the Bodo DLC? Yes. What's going to happen, Flinter? I touched grass. Uh, your whole hand's going to fall off. Now how are you going to play Rocket League? That's why we wear shoes outside, otherwise our feet would just shrivel up and become grass themselves. Just want some new Way the Hunter content? I'm assuming you mean game content. Do you mean from me? If you mean from me, uh, this weekend I'm planning on going to Rural Shores. If you meant from the game itself, I also want new Way the Hunter content. <laughs> Last time I touched grass, I had to go see other people. <laughs> Is there a fix for it? I'm pretty sure you have to spend all night playing any kind of first person shooter, you need to eat a whole family size bag, sorry, party size bag of Doritos and at least two liters of Mountain Dew. If you do that, you should be fine. I like walking on gravel barefoot. Why? <laughs> Last time I touched grass, I was covered by the weed eater. For some reason, you're allowed to get grass clippings on you. I think it's because the grass is dead. Or dying. Love the John boats. I like the maneuverability. Allows you to get into some other spots. How are you fishing for him, by the way? You bottom fishing? I'm so afraid. I know you can catch him with 40 pound tests, but I'm actually terrified if I hook him that he's gonna snap my line. I think he will, but like I know a little bit more that pumping is how you tire the fish out. So if we go low drag and just pump a lot as soon as he bites, maybe we can tire him out enough. But yeah, I can't lie. like. As much as I want to catch him, I'm definitely concerned. You hooked him? See, I told you bottom fishing would work. It's pulling, I bet he is. Yeah, Kyla has better equipment than me, so. This is gonna be like Goldstein all over again. Kyla caught Goldstein in like five minutes. This is two, three weeks ago. And I, it took me two and a half hours. I caught him. But I streamed for two and a half hours trying to get him. Kyla's so much better than me. It's literally not even fair. Going over there. How does the tiring out work? I'll be honest. I, I don't know enough about it to say for sure. But when I was streaming, this, this is where I learned it from streaming. I can't remember who specifically told me. But I was told that like pumping is the way to wear the fish out. And as they tire out. Like they pull less, so you can up your drag a little bit and that certainly helps things. Um, you know, you can potentially reel them in a little bit easier. It's less risky that they're gonna snap your line. All right, let's make sure we have the best setup possible here. Uh, 40 pound braid, that's the biggest line I could put on this. Cause I have 50 some pound braid, but it doesn't. Like I'll take it off of here, just to show. It 
cannot go on this. Two odd hook, I guess, in corn. Oh, not what I wanted. You must have Doritos. Did I ever bring those Doritos in for my truck? I always bring Doritos when I have like a long drive. And I don't recall, if they're sitting in my truck, they're very warm right now. All right, so drag's gotta be like 30. Yeah, we gotta we gotta start lower. He'll snap it. Oh, Bar Bartholomew. <laughs> no, that's fine. You don't have to mod anything. Just, just words. Doritos give you a headache. So I've never had any issues with it. But when I was driving to Kentucky this past time, eating Dorito Doritos, I swear they were making me like a little bit sick. I didn't eat as many Doritos as I typically do because I felt a little bit off. Think they'll ever add boats to Call of the Wild? I don't know how much, like, having some of the models and stuff. I wish you could, like, free look around. It'd be nicer for streams like this where we're just waiting. But anyway, um, I don't know how much having some of the assets in the Angler could maybe help them. It's completely different engines and stuff. But, like, maybe that makes it a little more likely. That's outrageous. <laughs> Cool Ranch are better than nacho cheese? Change my mind? I'm a nacho cheese guy, but Cool Ranch are also good. When will they add saltwater fishing? I don't know. They said that was something that they were hoping to do. Come here, Shadow. Come on. Oh, goodness. All right, she's looking out the window, so if she barks, I apologize. Can't lie, Rocket League's very competitive. Oh, yeah. Even casual is insanely competitive. What did I do wrong there? Oh, waypoints disappear when you cast. I was trying to see if we're casted to the edge of the deep part or not. He might spoil you. You got plenty of line. What are you talking about? Gives me lots of hope. <laughs> Spice, spicy sweet chili Doritos? They're good, but I can't eat a bunch of them. They definitely like, they make my stomach hurt. What legendary are you going for right now? Sidewinder. I've never caught him. He's the only um, like base game legendary I don't have. I, uh, I don't have a couple of the ones on Spain and then Sidewinder. Well, then you're maybe okay. Well, better start pumping. Yeah, Derek, that's something that a lot of people want. A lot of people want to see, like, a lodge or an aquarium or something. I'm waiting for Kyla to hopefully land him, and then I'm going to cast exactly where she did. Thing is, it's client side, so it basically means nothing. I don't know if the best move is to let this sit forever. Because here's the thing. As I understand it, legendaries kind of move. Like, I guess I'll... Hopefully he doesn't bite. I don't know where, and I don't know what kind of pattern. Maybe like a figure eight, maybe a circle. It might make more sense to just leave this sit here for a long time. And it might make more sense to cast every five minutes. I, I don't know. Just learned Shadow's a real dog? I thought it was just a call of the wild dog? Oh, really? <laughs> Shadow is indeed a real dog. Want a big aquarium where I can see the big fish swim around? So they're very, like, they're very into catch and release and all that kind of stuff. An aquarium, I guess, works because you don't kill it. Because I know one thing that was suggested was bow fishing, and they were very against that kind of idea. But maybe then, like, replicas, at least. Just finished getting this week's legendaries? I'm just potentially starting. When this first came out, I wasn't a fan of it compared to Fishing Planet. Have they expanded the ways to catch fish in this lore types? They've added bottom fishing. That's what we're doing right now. So you couldn't fish on the bottom in the past. Minus, like, jigging and stuff. Lore types haven't expanded that much, I wouldn't say. They've been more focused on, like, adding more maps and other species and stuff. I really want to see fly fishing. Cast somewhere else. 
No. Go out and headshot deer with a shotgun. Yeah, also EW. Don't kill fish. How are we looking? Oh, at 300 something feet now? Sure hope he does this to me too. How often is double XP done? I think they did it a year or so ago, but they don't do it a lot. Fish fins, not food. Fish fenders. Save it, save it, save it. I don't think I have that much line. I'm pretty sure my real... My hope is just to really work to not let him get that far. He probably will. But I'm going to try. Different facets of EW, I guess, Maximus, but yeah. Stream till you catch him. I definitely can't stream forever because I got to prep content. Like, might give it an hour if he bites and we snap it off. You know, I might try one more time. That could extend the stream a little bit. But, uh... Yeah, I, I got to record at least one more video tonight. I'm going to make 10 by Thursday. I recorded two earlier. I really need to get at least one more done tonight. They could totally do replicas? Yeah. I mean, they, they wouldn't even have to do much of anything other than freeze the already existing model. <laughs> Every fisherman's dream is to fish in the Bass Pro Shops Aquarium? 100%. Come on, Sidewinder. Eating some Snoop Dogg cereal? <laughs> Didn't know that was a thing. Does he just take it, by the way, or does it ding? Straight ahead of me, to your left. Towards the lilies. The right side of you. I think. Oh, I don't think they're rendering for me. Oh, okay. Well, I'll wait till you're out of the way and then move. What I'd like to do really is, like, cast short and catch him, because that gives me more wiggle room to potentially, like, wear him down. Oh, he's going to run again? Yeah. I wasn't looking. I wonder if he was visible on our screen there. Cabela's tour has 21 inch large mouths? That's crazy though. It's hemp seeds, I bet. Oh my. You don't get to mount or keep any fish? No. Sadly, no. Can you hear the stream music yourself or just you? On Twitch, I can hear it. Because I do it differently. On YouTube, it's just a like a playlist, not even a playlist, a, a, uh, a bunch of songs that I put in my editing software, made into one long, like 45 minute song that loops. So for me, it's playing through a media source, I can't hear it. If I remember, the Angler devs were also against adding replicas to mount in the Trophy Lodge. I don't know if they were against it, I can't remember if it was ever addressed. Biggest fish I caught in real life was a 56 pound blue cat. That's a pretty good one. Would you ever mount a fish in the angler? Sure, in real life, I doubt it. <clears throat> I just don't know. I, I think I'd rather release them always. Like, I'll eat fish. That's fine. I'll keep them for that. It's different, like, <clears throat> you know, with. With a deer, when you get it mounted, obviously you have to kill it first. So you're you're eating the meat, and you get to kind of, I will say, like, do it justice. Like, put it on the wall and not throw it in the, you know, throw it over the hill with a hide or whatever. 
<laughs> just saw a tiger muskie darn near jump in Kyla's boat. But with, with a fish, either you eat it, and that's fine. But if you're not going to eat it, then I don't want to mount it either. Catch anything good? Eh, a couple of pike. Kyla has Sidewinder on right now because she had the flex. So I'm waiting for her to move because we're going to probably try that same spot. I was just thinking. Oh, none of the dailies are weight-based? Oh, I'm on weekly. No, I am on daily. It would have been convenient if there was like a 100-pound weight one because Sidewinder would do the entire thing. I'd get replicas made? Yeah, I, I would do that. Did you start a challenge with him on? Yeah. You're a maniac. I would never. Why? I'd be so afraid of losing him. If you're not going to eat it, let someone else have the experience of hooking into it. Exactly. Favorite food? Like any breakfast food. Like a good old sausage, egg, and cheese. Like on a... Uh, on a biscuit's pretty darn good too, but on an English muffin? Top tier. Yesterday I caught Sidewinder more behind you like 20 meters. Like you had casted the opposite way I'm facing. So I'm trying to decide. The way I understand it, I'll give it a try because he's not biting here. The way I understand it, the legendaries kind of like move around. Swim around, I guess you should say. I do want to actually have, so we can watch, see if Kyla lands him. So I'll, I'll cast over here until she hopefully gets him. But, um... My thought is, am I better off just leaving my bait out here for 30 minutes? Or am I better off moving my cast every 5-10 minutes? Sidewinder's the hardest one. I've never never even hooked him. Let alone caught him. He's a How long were you fishing for him? 10 minutes? I'm saying... <laughs> you literally hooked him so fast. I have spent so many hours when he's never been. My poor little wrist is dying now. Uh-huh. Hard life catching all the fish. I'm trying to watch. Yeah, there's there's no need to really. I totally, especially with bottom fishing, Bartholomew. Totally agree. Oh. I think I saw him. Yep. Oh my god. He's huge. Big male. You should spin this way. You should spin this way. You got it. Thick. That was pretty cool. That guy just made that rod appear. Wait, leave him there. I'll, I'll cut this off and go closer. Okay. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> this guy with the high levels like, this idiot. I'm trying to get this perfect. Oh, your face de-rendered for a second. That was kind of creepy. Here he is, guys. I caught him. I did it. Yay. All right. Big size. Thank you. Wait, what? Uh, I guess I'll try where Kyla had casted for now. Wait. Not that. Not that wrong. In IRL, do you use bait casters or spinning? Spinning. I've never had a baitcaster. My brother had one. He was way more into fishing than I was. Now I, if anything, I use fly rods. I basically never even use spinning tackle. I did when I was in Kentucky for a little bit. Only if we could taxi. I, yeah, I'd like to catch Sidewinder and never have to catch him again. Kyla's luck is just stupid. I uh, totally concur. I like how Kyla goes casting towards the lily to the right and just yeets out of here like... Got a blast! When I ask people, they just ignore me. Yeah, because they know their information's useless. Are you just yeeting across the ground over there? I see you running. I could just see you running on land, but it wasn't rendering your whole body. I think I just saw your head and your feet. Thank you. 
Can you do more turkey? Like what, turkey videos? Turkey IRL, turkey in game. Healthy, no good, yes. That is unfortunately one of the many problems. Come on, fish. Do you play Fishing Planet? I have not played Fishing Planet much. How did this guy leave his boat here and disappear? Or see on the... Oh, wait, that's right. Well, that's annoying, because the only reason I stayed here is because he was in my way to be exactly where I wanted. Did you cast as far as you could towards the shore? No, I did just a little... A little flip cast? Yeah. Well, that would have been good information. <laughs> Clearly, I need help. Baitcasters are practically a religion in Florida. <laughs> no. That's my truck, you goob. It's got... I still have the boat in the back of it, and there's like a little wheel for transport, and it's sticking up out of my bed, and she can just tell something's different, and she doesn't like it. She make a channel for cooking and name it Cooking with Flantro. I don't have the confidence to make a cooking channel. I'm not particularly great at it. I think I can make a pretty good breakfast. That's about it. Literally, K-Flow. It's, it's Goldstein all over again. Was that on YouTube, too? It was. We did, like, a three-hour night stream. I can't remember what we did in the very beginning of the stream. I didn't start by trying to catch Goldstein. But pretty early on, we decided to go and try to catch him. And immediately, Kyla caught him. And we didn't even get over here yet. And Kyla hooked into him. Hooked into Sidewinder, even. Have you thought of making one video a week of the angler? It's, I think I am going to do a video or maybe even two in the next week or so. Going to try to catch some of these legendaries, especially if I catch Sidewinder here today. My concern is he can be so tough to catch and I'm on such a limited uh, time frame, time schedule with trying to get all the videos done to prep. I'd hate to, you know, waste a bunch of time. That's actually why I'm partially why I'm doing this on stream right now. No, see if we can catch him and then it'll be in a video eventually. But, I just think it's such a better streaming game than video game. Video game. Game to make videos on. It's, you know, if you edit nothing but when the hook sets, it doesn't really translate the experience nearly as well. Best reel and pull for no DLCs? There's ones that you can get through the souvenir shop. Um, I think those are technically the best. Those require tokens. Tokens are... There's legendary tokens, diamond tokens, and gold tokens. So, like, I have on this map five legendary, zero diamond, because I suck, and 13 gold tokens. I have much better ones on Africa, at least. It's a skill issue, just like Great Ones Kyla's superior. Not wrong there, either. Kyla's never even had... What's your longest grind? 3,000 for Fallow? <laughs> I've had one shorter than that ever. Oh. You ate a rattlesnake? Nice. It's a decent tiger muskie right there. Why'd you say it like that? Kylo should have a channel? She technically does have a channel. What are you barking at? You're laying on the ground, you goober. I'd be less annoyed if you do that. It does taste like chicken. It's funny how everything except chicken tastes like chicken. Nothing good yet, assassins. We caught a couple of silver pike. Kyla caught Sidewinder. Like, literally, almost exactly where we're sitting. So I'm also, too, trying to catch Sidewinder. That was the whole point of coming down here. But, uh, no bites yet. We've already been fishing for longer than it took her to hook him, so go figure. Do you play any instruments? Okay, I have to ask. Were you in a server with me earlier? On... Uh... Possibly New England or Quattro, I forget. 
Somebody asked me that today. It was the first time I've ever been asked. And I'm curious if you're the same person. Also, no, I can't. Uh, I have zero musical talent. Can you only catch one of each legendary? They, like, every week they rotate. So, like, this week will be Sidewinder. I think next week is Big Larry? No. Next week's Goldstein again. Pretty sure. And then they rotate on every map. So you can catch Sidewinder this week. And then in three weeks he'll be on rotation again. You can catch him again. Just joined? Okay. Uh, just, I found it interesting that I was asked that earlier today too. Yeah, I have literally zero musical ability. That tiger musky is really tempting me. Where are you on the map to catch Sidewinder? So like there's this kind of southern little part of the main lake right before it branches off into the river in the little deep part here. But how does it taste like chicken? Am I insane for thinking that's a big tiger musky? Also, uh, because chicken. Can you sing some for us? No, I don't have any musical talent. Thought I told you that. Will you make IRL fishing videos? I'm going to try to make one this year. We'll see how it goes. Maybe try to make several, but I'm going to try to make one and see if people like it. If that makes sense. Are we sure we even know what chicken tastes like? Kind of no, because... And you know what I think it is? I think I just solved it. Chicken is not, like, super flavorful. Generally. So, it's usually seasoned with, you know, potentially many different things. Anything, whether it's, like, gator or rattlesnake or, like... Many other similar meats are also just seasoned quite heavily, and I think that's what makes them taste the same. Like, there's obviously some qualities of the meat that are different, uh, similar, but... What are we fishing for? Trying to catch Sidewinder, the 110-pound lake trout. Uh, I have never hooked him before, and I still haven't hooked him now. Alright. He's tempting me too much. I gotta catch that tiger muskie. We're gonna move to where Kylo was. This is why I don't catch legendaries, by the way. I do stuff like this. I can't help myself. He's just sitting there, and I like tiger muskies a lot. If chicken tastes like chicken, what is chicken? What came first, the chicken or the egg? We're bringing this right by him, but I don't see him. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, this is going to be dumb if we don't catch him after all that. Eh, he's not that special. He's fine, but probably silver. The egg, I hate that question with so much passion. How do you know, though? Were you there? Says Sidewinder responds better to size 2 out lures like the spoon or spinner on a speed 4 or 5. So, like, I do know that it's supposed to be fast. In theory, though, with bottom fishing, that shouldn't be as relevant. You probably do need to have him, you know, happen upon the exact perfect spot. But the other thing about it is you're able to just throw it out there and just leave it. And eventually maybe he swims close enough to hit it. Which came first, the antler or the horn? It's literally just how it works. But here's the idea, right? In my mind. So like, the first chicken was probably like a velociraptor or something that slowly evolved into a chicken. So, technically, at what point did it become a chicken? And was it while it was in the egg? <laughs> I see your point, but also the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Very true. Great, great counterpoint. Greetings from South Africa. Really enjoy your streams. Well, welcome on in, man. Hopefully we get things going here inside of Wanderer Bite. Kylo already stole them, but it's okay. We'll get them. Who laid the first egg? Jungle fowl are basically wild chickens and they laid eggs. So it's the egg. But were they the first chickens? <laughs> Can confirm I was the egg. I can't believe you've done this. Triple dog dare you to run outside and touch grass? You know he'll bite when I'm gone. What kind of fish even was that? Is that a grayling? No, they're not even on this map. 
I thought I saw like that big dorsal fin. Sounds good, Kelgan man. Dodo birds? Maybe. I'm going to attack you. But like, if spotted bass don't have spots, and the first egg wasn't a chicken egg, how can we be so sure? How does the first egg come to be? That's the question. Who laid it? Was it the golden goose? You make me want to pull my hair out. <laughs> my heart rate's going bananas. Mel's just like furiously. They're eggs first because I said so. You agree? Chicken came first? I knew it. Shadow knows. Feel like the orange was discovered before the carrot? Yeah, that seems likely, doesn't it? <laughs> Down for the golden goose being the mother of birds. The reality is the modern farm chicken was created in a lamb. I think you're onto something. What is an egg? That is the question. Alright, Sidewinder. I don't appreciate your tone. How long have we been angling? Like 40 minutes? Heard the Kentucky hunt did not go great? Eh, no such luck with the turkeys. I found a pretty nice shed. I have it laying on my desk because it's my token of success from Kentucky. So that was pretty cool. Had a pretty fun time. Nearly got struck by lightning. Like, genuinely, I watched it hit the ground 60 yards away, something like that. Um, anytime I go on any of these out-of-state hunting trips, like, getting to fill a tag as a bonus, it's just a, you know, it's a good excuse to go and hang out with hunting buddies, be in the woods. One day we'll get one. I mean, we got a buck in West Virginia a couple years ago. Just like all pigeons are surveillance drones. There was a dead robin on the side of the road, speaking of Kentucky. And that was my first thought was like, ah, drone crashed. Maybe you wouldn't ask such stupid questions. Tuesday, isn't it? Says he also bites on tube jigs. I'm going to try it. So the biggest reason I'm using uh, bottom fishing right now is because I have tried potentially every other way of catching them. I've tried crankbaits. I've tried uh, spoon lures. I've tried jigging a lot. I've never gotten them to hit anything else. So my thought is if I just leave this thing in the water, maybe he'll hit it. But here we are, like at least a half hour into trying, and he hasn't hit it. They stood on the wires to charge? Yeah, it's osmosis. Hunting turkey here in Indiana in a couple weeks for the first time. Have you been? Turkey hunting or to Indiana? The answer is yes to both. I've never turkey hunted in, in Indiana, though. I've deer hunted. Not trying hard enough? Let me really focus in here. Stare at my fishing rod. That's not osmosis? It's definitely osmosis. That's about how it goes, Devin. <laughs> they're they're so like you gotta you really gotta execute well to kill a turkey. Which I guess it makes sense because oh 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 boy he's biting. All right, well, what's the tension look like? Because we want as high tension as is reasonable. That's good. That's perfect for the video that I want to make out of this. We need to literally pump this, like, non-stop, and tire him out. Now, the way he's going, I don't think he can spool us, but we still have to tire him out in case he goes a different way. Shadow's hyped. Like, yeah, Shadow said, Sidewinder, yes! I can get treats now that this stream's gonna end. I'm at 70% drag. I don't quite know what you were doing, but... <laughs> like, the whole idea is to put as much tension on the line as we can without risking snapping it. Because that's ultimately how you tire them out is, like, with... It's like real life. You, If you just let them pull line, they're not going to get tired. But if your drag's high, and if they got to work to pull it, 
then they're going to slowly but surely get tired out. 70 is a little too risky. I, th I think 65 is the sweet spot right now. But yeah, I, I think we might be okay because of the direction. I'm just not sure. It's still pretty far over there. And I believe we're 286 is our max and we're already like halfway there. Auto reel could have been bad, that is possible. I'm gonna go down a little bit more and I'm gonna try to hold just a bit. Another thing I've done to varying degrees of success with legendaries is actually, whoop, instead of pumping, do more like this. Because what it can do is move them a little bit and buy you a little bit of time. But I'm gonna keep pumping for now. And if we start getting like 230, 240, okay, I like that we're moving our way. If we start getting more in that direction, we're gonna have to, uh, Move to drastic measures. I like that we're already slowing them up at like 170 though. There's gonna be effectively two rounds of this fight. There basically always is, unless you have insane equipment. I feel okay about where we're at. I don't think he's gonna spool us at least here. 44 pound braid and like an okay rod and reel is not ideal equipment. Hey Bree, we've got Sidewinder on right now, so <laughs> things could be interesting. Later nuclear. Sidewinder has plans for you. So what he's doing right now that's bad is he's moving to the left, which is going to allow him to, he can spool us if he goes that way. So we we definitely need to uh, kind of push this by going as high drag as is safe. I just think 75 is going to be too much. We just need him tired out. We get him to where, even if it's a standstill, slowly move him back our way, it'll be all right. What bait? Uh, two out size hook, artificial corn. Bottom fishing. Let him cook. <laughs> no, we can't. Sidewinder has to live after this. We can't cook him. Okay. Oh, I thought we had him stopped. Not even close. He's just like, yeah. You want to see something? Watch this. Okay, that kind of worked. I think pumping is like the safer method. As soon as I see the twos, though, it starts to freak me out. 80 feet's a long way, but he can also do that in no time flat. Gonna get some yardage? Oh, he's got some yardage. Oh, he's moving towards 100 yards real quick. Come on. Need the lad to tire out. I don't like this. I gotta stop pumping before there's tension on the line. That's costing me a couple of feet. Believe it or not, we don't have any room to work with right now. 210. God, I don't like that. Come on. Just, just slow up a little bit. Like, realistically, he's only gone 50 feet in the last minute or so, but that's actually, like, a lot also. Yeah, pumping loses us less time. Oh, boy. Okay. That's bad. Come on. Want to see you land him? I am crossing all my fingers. This is, like, the worst equipment I've ever tried to fish for him with, but it is quite literally the best bottom fishing equipment I have access to. There's a better bottom fishing rod I think you unlock on Spain. And that would be the ideal thing to have right now, but I have like no tokens on Spain, and therefore I can't really use it. We're not, eh, maybe we are losing a little ground. We're, we're doing okay though. Like when we're pumping, we're actually moving him our way some. See that? It's going high tension. But look, we're going back to like 206 every time. Maybe? All right, maybe not moving him our way, but at the very least, the tension's not going quite as high. We're not going to 75 yet, but if that drops down a little below three quarters every time, we're gonna we're gonna go up a little bit. We all believe that you have Sidewinder on the line? I know it's Sidewinder. The question is, are we gonna have a Sidewinder in the boat? Okay. That actually gained a little bit of a little bit of distance, not much. Back to 208. Fish on this. This might be a whale. Again. Gotta get right when he starts to take line. That's how we're at least preventing him from pulling any significant line on us. Ooh, that's big. Got a little bit. Yeah, that's why we can't go up drag wise. If he pulls, it just goes. Big meal! I'm so nervous. The word, like, I've seen it before where the second like tier of the fight is just worse and that's my concern Ooh. 
He can still 100% at 70% drag. He can absolutely snap this. Missed the call to the wild stream. Now there's another what's going on. We're just here trying to catch a fish, man. Just trying to catch a really large fish. The concerning thing is, even though I'm sitting here saying like, okay, we're making progress, we're still, he's still taking line. Like he's still slowly but surely crawling out towards that 286 mark. This fish thick with three C's. Sidewinder. There's no C's in Sidewinder. I tried. Just come back this way. Just slow up a little bit. I'm really not sure how much he ever slows up. Because, like, again, 44 pound test. This is a 110 pound fish. I'm actually amazed we can chill at, like, 70% drag and do anything. But it's not... Like, nothing good is happening. really don't want the snap. So Braid, if you go all the way to max tension, effectively immediately snaps. As opposed to, I said this earlier in stream, fluorocarbon and monofilament will stretch a little bit. So that's the worry in going all the way up to 75%. Like if we hit max, we're kind of in trouble. If we go a whole lot further, like I said, I just we gotta start doing some stuff. Let's try pulling him towards us a minute. Like if I really just kind of yeet this thing we do anything? We can go higher drag and do that. Not gonna go anything crazy, just like 80. And really... Oh, hold on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, that did a little something. I like... Okay, we gotta be careful, though. I like that we're at least... It seems like when we do this, we're at an area where he's not able to just spool us. I'm gonna just hold tension right now. If we do that again. Yeah, we might be somewhere here. We gotta just let the rod do the work. Like, ultimately, our equipment's not good enough. We have to really slow play it. He's done? I don't know if he's done quite yet. I pump at 75. Like, if he does if he's running when I pump, it's bad. Yeah, yeah, see? We can pump at 75 semi-safely. See how that stopped there? That's why immediately I pulled the rod all the way back. Didn't necessarily do anything huge, but it bought us a couple of feet. I need a drink, I'm sweating. We'll gain some ground. I'm trying, man. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, that did a little. I've got my key constantly. My key. My hand constantly on the uh, lower drag key. Come on. The, it, the like most deflating part of this is it feels like we're like, okay, it feels like we're going to be able to get him if we keep on working it this way. But then I know he's going to run again when he gets to 20 feet. And it's like, can we do it perfectly again? I don't know how perfect necessarily you have to play it with less than ideal equipment. But there's less room for air. Like you really do need to work to tire him out before they spool you. And I'm so afraid of doing it again. Go up a little. Okay, we can't reel him yet. <laughs> when he just decides, like, he's like, no. You're not. <laughs> you're not winning. However, we were hanging around 220, and now we're hanging around 210. Oh, that guy got him. All right. Notice something there. And that was that we just threw reeling, not pumping. We moved him our way a little bit. I'm going to go back to 70 because the scary thing is if we can move him at that, it's just, it's right on the edge of what I'm comfortable with. Can you chase them with a the boat? You can't move like once you've cast it. Okay, it was next to nothing, but we did move him a tiny bit there. This is going to take forever. I should have looked what time I hooked him. This is working. It's slow, but it's working. My luck is stealer luck. Hey, now. That guy that got him was me? Oh, nice. How long was your fight? You I think you got over here since I've been here, right? 
is it possible that because he's been on the line for like already 20 some minutes and maybe we've tired him out in a different pattern that this will only take one i i want to go up on tension but actually the fact of the matter is if he's going to run again when he gets into like 20 feet we probably need this at 50 or less when we get him there or he's gonna snap the line as soon as he goes i've seen that happen before where when they take off again the drag just screams and if it's too high he'll break it he will always run again i caught alejandro on one like he didn't run a second time that's that's what makes me think there's maybe some hope but i assume you're right, All right i'm gonna slowly drop the drag still gonna keep on tiring him out as we go but i want it maybe even at 45 for when he runs again so that that way it's at least at a low point even if it's too high there we can quickly get down the next level. The second run is much worse. Oh, no. Took me 25-35 on the same setup? All right, well, good to know we can catch him on the same setup. Where were you? I didn't even see you. Second run is much worse. T I don't know how much more we can handle than what he did. I know we had, like, 60 feet of wiggle room. I do feel like what I was doing wrong the first time. When we were pumping, I was stopping just, like, a few a few frames short of going all the way and maybe that does make a difference I am excited to see him I've literally never seen him on the line down to a standstill we're 55% okay so now we're just straight up reeling him in so I'm gonna drop it to 50 when we get to like 40 feet I'm gonna go down to 45 was pumping mostly the whole time the way that I think it works is it, uh, it effectively, like, re-maxes his energy, if that's, like, a thing, once he sees you and runs again. So I don't think pumping now is going to help me tire him out for the second time. Let's get down to 45. I want to see him. 17 feet. Hold on. 7 feet. Ha! One time. <laughs> that was awesome. That was only 13 minutes. That wasn't bad. I don't know why that worked, but I'm not going to complain. Finally caught Sidewinder. <laughs> He's enormous. How long has the Angler been out? Year and a half? Legendaries have been a thing most of that amount of time? All that concern about the second run was for not. We kind of still have a little bit of time. We might get to go and try to catch one of the other ones. I want to get one screenshot. I know we're streaming and everything, so I can grab a, a still from it. I want to get one screenshot when he's like got his tail all the way out. And he's refusing to let me do that. He's way bigger than you. <laughs> he really is. We'll get a couple of different angles just for fun. There are other legendaries I don't have. But that one's like the last of the... I guess milestone legendaries that I wanted to get. He's so cool. Like the, the pattern on his side. Somebody said I think he has a new model or something too. What does he weigh again? 110.69 pounds. 5.26 feet is like... Barely shorter than me. Pretty cool. I really don't want to let him go. Because <laughs> that was such a long time coming. It was kind of cool to land him like that, though. 16% of mastery on the reel and 32%. That's the first fish I've caught on corn. All right. One last look. Maybe I'll screenshot further out, too. Yeah, I guess we can let him go. Pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't look. I don't know how close we were to leveling up. But a fish that big, no surprise. Jumped us, oh, way above 56. We must have been decently close. The ultimate weightlifter. Yeah, we literally just stood there and held a 110-pound fish for a long time. 
So, I kind of want to try to catch the other legendaries for a video this week. I'm probably going to stop the stream at 6. Why don't we just go... We'll get out of these people's way. We'll go and try to catch some, like, pike or tiger musky. We don't have, like, a ton of time left. Funny how the guy carries them like nothing. Yeah, there, there'd be no... No way you could hold that fish for more than a couple of minutes. Oh, hey, Megan's here. I meant a couple of seconds without, like, starting to slowly have your arms drop down further and further. Big boy, big male. It'll be interesting to try to edit the video because as soon as I hooked him, uh, Shadow lost her mind. But that's okay. Coloration on the side looks like he's dead. Do you mean like the little side patch thing? Try the fall spot for Diamond Musky? Fall spot. Where's that? I'm assuming it's a waterfall, but... Maybe there? She was just cheering you on? Big fish. The boat leaks? It's okay, it'll be fine. We'll live. If I look up... Uh, tiger musky... Might be able to see somebody post one there. You were cheering me on? <laughs> well, I appreciate it. We needed all the help we could get. <clears throat> Looks like a bunch of people are catching them. Oh, there's a location. It's right by a bridge. Are you still on the same server as me? Yeah, I just joined back because I thought you were going to go after the Spain legendary. Well, I was, but then I realized I don't have a ton of time. I see that. Look at that smirk. Take that, Kyla. I only had to bring him in one time because I'm better. Yeah, but he made you... He, he almost spoiled you twice. Your equipment's better than mine. He actually ran further away from you than me. It's quite a skill issue, I don't know. I don't care. Excuses. TGC is shadow? Yes. Gotta work on my presentation for my research. Congrats on getting the longer. It sounds good, Danny. Appreciate you hanging out. That's what I got over 30 diamond musky? And the community record. That's, that's quite the diamond musk. So we just cast into the waterfall, I'm assuming. So these rocks will probably snap my line from here. I'll be the guy. We'll start with the size three, see what happens. There were four minnow you can cast all around? So you're saying to, uh, like, floatfish? I'd be so pissed if boats started gathering around me like this in real life. Yeah, I mean, it's like, like I always say, there's bluegill under me. Like I always say, when you're in the woods or, you know, at the water fishing or whatever, the last thing you want is to be bumping elbows with other people. Like, the, the whole thing, the whole idea of the experience is to be out by yourself. Three swim bait, do you kayak? I don't have a kayak, but I have, like, a little inflatable pontoon boat thing that at least I finally got to use again Saturday. You just don't do that. Some people do. I would. It's kind of like those, I mean, it's not the same thing necessarily. But it's kind of like those guys that we ran into turkey hunting. There were two trucks already in the lot. 
would, that would be mine and Aaron's. I Aaron's truck makes me so car sick. I don't know why. It just, it does. So I drove Will and I, and then Aaron drove himself. And not only did they go, you know, park, there's not like a lot of places to park. Like they had to have been not even really in the parking space. They also just basically ran up the hill to get past us, told us they were going five miles back in. So it was like, okay, fine. And then we could hear them calling. Like they were only 300 yards away. They just hunted right by us. Didn't matter. <laughs> there weren't any turkeys around. It's just, you know, like you said, it's ideally it's something that you don't do. I'd go full mel and start throwing hands. Well, one of the issues is that everybody is holding guns, so you make the wrong person mad, you can have a problem. But, yeah, it's just, you want to be by yourself if you can't be. I see one. All right. It's not terrible that we're getting the standstill of 45% drag. He's trying to go right behind that rock. Don't you do it. I can't do much about it. Can we get him around the rock? Yeah, we're okay. There's unwritten sportsman etiquette? Exactly. Hey, winners. It's a pike, but it doesn't look bad. Eh, a couple pounds shy of gold. Now I got you, Clark. Just point out the obvious. 556. I'm tempted to try to catch one of those bluegill, but... I guess if we get to 6 o'clock and haven't got another hit in the lore, we'll catch a bluegill or two and then... Sadly, we're going to have to wrap up. So much for no more hits on that. Colin, thank you for subscribing. Gotta bring him to the right. I do wish, like, there was a little more influence where you could kind of direct the fish a certain way if, uh, if you work the rod correctly. Just got my first rainbow trout in the angler, and they are bigger than I thought they'd be. They get big, man. I think they get north of 20 pounds. Any good fish yet? We caught Sidewinder, so that was, that was pretty cool. That's a milestone one for me. Had never caught him before. Couple of pretty solid tiger, musky, and pike. We haven't had a gold yet, but trying to here as we get close to wrapping up. Who knows, Clark? I'm sure that number is not zero. Going the wrong direction. Swear it was a deer. One or two more would be pretty nice. Alright, there's one. I was going to say, I thought I saw the fish and he looked bigger. Maybe a gold. I haven't fished for these enough lately to have a good feel for that, but there's potential there. Gold is like, what, 14-ish? For pike, and I think it might be 16 for tiger musky. Which map is your favorite? I really like Africa, I'm not going to lie. I do like the aesthetics and the species on Golden Ridge, but... Uh, tigerfish on Africa, the uh, yellowfish, the eel are pretty fun to go after. There's just a lot of big stuff on Africa that's fun. I'm not going to say definitely a gold, but I feel like I'd be kind of surprised if he ends up being a silver. He seems like he's several pounds bigger than the last one. Hey, barely. 13 pounds? Take a gold. Get a couple of tokens here. I don't know what map to like. So my plan is, I want to buy the... Uh, I forget the name of it. Pure Champion Reel, I think it is. The best spinning reel you can buy from the uh, local souvenirs section. And then I also, there's... Oh. Then, generally I want to work towards getting... 
tackle box upgrades. Ideally, you don't do those two things on the same map, or you just do and catch a ton of golds and diamonds and stuff, but in my case, I'm thinking of trying to use Golden Ridge for tackle box upgrades, catch diamonds and golds here, and then because I have more diamonds already and a good number of golds over on Africa, try to get the reel there. When does Turkey open in PA? Just came back from a youth hunt in New Mexico and got a Jake. Nice, man. That's, uh... Is it Merriam's in New Mexico? Or do they have, like, golds or something? Anyway, ours doesn't open until May 4th, so we got some time. I just got back from hunting Kentucky and got nothing. So you're doing better than me. Best place I ever caught a rainbow trout was Northern California at Mammoth Mountain Lakes. Cut my limit within an hour and agreed they are bigger than you would think. Fair enough. They do get big. I say next fish is last fish. Sounds like you're enjoying the angler more now. I think the amount of variety, the fact that to me at least some things do make a little more sense. They've kind of made it where at least I thought in the past it was just way too easy. You could just sort of do whatever and catch any fish you were targeting. Now you do have to at least it seems you have to be more I guess either lucky or ideally what is that? Is that just a big bobber? Anyway. You have to have a better idea of what you're supposed to use and use the right equipment in the right areas to catch big fish. I didn't like before, like, there were, there were missions. Admittedly, it's how I got my diamond bass. But there were missions that you would do, and once you activated that mission, it would spawn, like, tons of big fish for that species. And, like, I just... It felt like it made spending a bunch of time trying to catch a diamond pointless. You could just catch them that way. Merriam's and Rio Grande's? Oh, nice. I didn't know that. Might be bluegill time. I saw a pike. A little one. Hey, let's see if we can catch a bluegill. I kind of think I might have this set up already, because this might be... Not that one. Did I take it apart? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what we use to catch that diamond... Pumpkin seed. Eight should work fine for bluegill. Sure will. This was the last fish, as I recall, that I caught. When the game was first in early access, I caught one of everything here on Golden Ridge. Bluegill were a problem for me. Honestly, after watching a while, I might try this game out. It is fun. If you're familiar with the Hunter Call of the Wild, it is the fishing version of that, I would say. Meaning, you can catch a lot of fish, you can, I mean, you can see fish, like, it's, it's a more arcadey than super realistic fishing game, but I think that suits a lot of people. It actually suits me. I don't care for a super realistic fishing game. I like super realistic hunting games, but, like, my personal, like, temperament and stuff, I don't really want my fishing games to be super realistic. I like faster pace and stuff for this, so it works. Guess that uh, bluegill's a little too small. Uh, that's not what I wanted, but sure. We'll catch that and that'll be it. Welcome back, Reed. Start playing Cabela's Big Game Pro Hunt. It does not disappoint. Nice. I still haven't played that. Is that going to snap on the side of that rock? Get up here. That'll work. Okay. Might not want to play for hours without catching a thing? Yeah, me neither. That would not be my preference. So, I think that's going to do it for this stream. Managed to catch Sidewinder. Didn't have much luck on Brahunga Savannah, but at least we killed a bunch of stuff. Maybe for the next time, got some respawns and that kind of thing. And, uh, I'd imagine this will be the last stream till... It'll be a while. <laughs> till, like, for two weeks, something like that. Till we get back from Georgia. I might manage to somehow sneak another stream in somewhere, but I think timing-wise, it's just going to be videos for the next couple of weeks till we get home. And, uh, yeah. I guess looking forward to getting to talk to you guys then. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!